more wine over there. And then we made our way home. And at that point, um, the Dodger thing was on. So, <laughs> so that's you what know, you rolled into. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, you know, you know. just gets the mood going. <laughs> yeah, no, it, <laughs> it is. She's a huge Steve the tone. Garvey fan. Such she was the very tone. excited to see Steve Garvey. Well, okay. I didn't know until I watched that how much animosity the Dodger players had they about hated guts. Garvey. Yeah. They hated yeah. his guts. Well, like, Don Sutton reportedly kicked his ass. Well, no, that. In, well, yeah. they talk about that fight, but the... Like, Dave Singer's going to be crushed. Steve Garvey was, like, his hero. Who's got this documentary? ESPN. ESPN. Yeah. Oh, ESPN. ESPN. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> Next question. He's Russell Wilson. He's a great player. That his that, team, his, his, I can see that. His teammates are like, no, nah, man. No. We get it. You help us win games. We get it. You're important to our overall success. Like, but you're not one dangerous. of us. There was literally a time where people said, Steve Garvey, can run for senator. Yes. Do you remember that That's era? That's what they called him, yeah. the senator. Yeah, well, they can run for senator. And then all the stuff like started coming Like most senators, up. he has an extracurricular <laughs> love life that may have tripped him up. Well, yeah, I mean, that. Did, I, so I only watched I like think the he first owes me money half too. hour. Garvey does? <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I think that well, after watching that documentary, I'm like, wow. that You talk about perception being different from reality everybody perceived garvey is to be like the most popular guy on the team yeah. he might have been the least popular well, guy I, w- the without team. exception I, but, yeah no he was incredibly good and he was the face of the team along with tommy yep. and and he was the guy that everybody eye rolled when he walked out of the room for interesting. Sure. I can't, interesting i can't i only watched like the first half hour it, am i gonna love the next yeah, hour and good. a half yeah you'll like it i can't wait did I you guys wait. see the uh well, you guys do this, the Rolling Stone, the 100 greatest yeah, TV shows. Yeah, we did shows. it. Yeah, we, we did, did it yesterday. What do you okay. think? Well, actually, I was going to add, any problem with the top three? Sopranos, Simpsons. I, I was a little surprised Breaking Bad was there in the top three. Any problem with those? Really? Why? No, Breaking, Breaking Bad, Bad would be Bad would, in my top three. Breaking yeah. Bad would be lower for you? Yeah. Why? And, I, and I, actually, not even just personally, because I loved Breaking Bad. Mm-hmm. I just, I'm thinking all-time greatest shows, and I knew how big and popular it was. I didn't know top three. Like, yeah, it would be top five for me. For yeah, sure. It would be too. top five for me. Me, me too. In, in some order, mine would be West Wing, Sopranos, Mad Men, The Wire. You and got Breaking me into Bad. The Wire. Yeah, yeah, that's a wire. really good top five. That that I, I would put Curb in my top. The five. only thing that I would I would want I'd have to figure out what I want out of there. Maybe it's The Sopranos. Honestly, oh, but Sopranos! I, is so I, I loved good. it. it would be I watched six, it late too. But I I would have The Simpsons in there. I I know that it's been a long. It's not what it's it was. It's in its forty sixth season. Something crazy. Yeah, like it's, that. it's unbelievable. But at its best, there was nothing like it. Yeah, there yeah. was absolutely nothing like it. I'm Started. It was a spinoff of Tracy Ullman. Tracy Ullman show. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. It was just a little interstitial. And isn't thing she they did. the voice? Of one, is she voice of March? No, no. that's Julie Kavner. Oh, yeah, okay. Julie was, Kavner. Boy, talk about making bank. They've been I'm doing the it voice for literally of Homer. Oh my. 34 years, I think it is. This it's is insane. the 34th season. And yeah. there's there's one guy that does multiple voices. voices yeah. Dan Hank Hank Castellina. Hank well, he did Mo, and then they got rid of he Apu. He still does They got rid they of Apu. They Apu because he was politically incorrect. Yes. A bunch and, of Dr. Hibbert, too, and yeah. Lenny is now voiced by a different actor. Right. Um, yeah. do you, so you're still locked into The Simpsons? I still watch it. Do you? I do. And I, 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 I do. I, I don't Is it still popular, it like episodes that come out now? Uh, yeah. By the way, go back and watch the time that Mr. Burns stacks the the company all-star team with major league That's players incredible. and see the list of guys who they got. Daryl Strawberry, Ken Griffey Jr., Mike Sosh is in it. Roger uh, Clements, yeah. Steve Sachs. There, there's wow. like eight yeah. major Mattingly. leaguers. Trim those sideburns, Mattingly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> over and over and over. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm still better than Steinbrenner. Mason and Ireland coming up next. We'll see you tomorrow. The OGs of L.A. Sports Radio. Mason in Ireland on 710. House of the Dragon tonight. I can't get you started on House of the Dragon. Um, you listening? Or no? House of the Dragon? Yeah, you're going to you gonna start? No. no. <laughs> I don't have anything. I thought, you were, I thought you were just not listening to me for a second. Do you, you ever tune me out while we're doing the show? Oh, probably. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Football fans, want to win 100 bucks for picking five games against the spread? Just download the Cover 5 app for free. Compete with Travis and Sliwa each week for a chance to win 100 bucks. Here's what you need to do. Download the Cover 5 app. Use the code TS22 to join our show league and start having fun all season long. Just download the Cover 5 app, use the code TS22 to join the Travis and Sliwa Show League, pick five games against the spread to win 100 bucks, or play all season long at Cover5.com.
710 ESPN is giving you a chance to win one million dollars. Money, money all the time. What I'm thinking. Million Dollar Mondays. Million Dollar Mondays. Listen every Monday during football season to Travis and Sliwa, Mason and Ireland, and Sedano and Cap. All you have to do is make a super prediction. And you can win a mill. And you can score tickets to a game at SoFi for just playing on Million Dollar Mondays. Million Dollar Mondays. 710 ESPN. Oh, Again, at least it was on Maybe this show. Maybe not this show. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're having a great Wednesday. So if you missed yesterday, one Steve Mason took to video and danced and grinded. Is it grinded or ground? Well, he grinded. And he grinded hard. If you have missed the video, be sure to go to our Twitter page, our YouTube page, our Instagram to see Mace on the loose yesterday in the studio. We'll get a full report on exactly what was going on. Also, Johnny Ice here, John Ireland, my bestie. Does he know that he struck a nerve with George Sedano yesterday? Oh, yeah. Plus, my favorite day because Michael Thompson's here. Yeah. Let's get to it. Fun for all the <laughs> sports. A little bit of sports. Mason and Ireland, your Wednesday afternoon right now. Ah! Ah! Morales is the only one I know who doesn't like Michael. Everybody likes Michael. Not Morales. No, does no. Does he really not like does him? Does not like him. He likes Michael. He does as not. As a person. He's a he great He does not person. like him as a person. Yeah. Oh, no. no he does not. Oh, he does, he does not. really he not does. like him oh, as I've, a person? So I've had a detailed, long conversation with Chris about this very subject. Really? Michael huh? rubs him the wrong way. I think, I think it was because Michael blew off the Mandy's. Uh, well... I think when when Michael blew off the man, I don't, Mandy's, think, I don't he think he was lo- in the country. He was ten minutes away. Oh, he was uh, he was <laughs> technically in the county. Yeah, and Get uh, yeah. So uh, and I I think that which is why I was so hell bent on making it to the Mandy's, even though I was I was in a crisis. I know, but uh, but that yeah, that's why I Michael's going to have to do something to win Chris back. Mandy's too. Yeah. I think if Michael doesn't show up for Mandy's too, it'll be a one man <laughs> assault on on his character. By the way, I don't think Chris. you should be able to win if you're not going. Like he won a couple of awards. Funniest host. I funniest think. host. Yeah. yeah. I, I do, should you be able to win no. if you're not even showing up? No, absolutely not. The Especially when you're for... two blocks away. Yeah, exactly. When you're right there. By the way, Juan thinks I made a complete and total jackass fool of myself yesterday. Completely he's, disagree. He's looked at the video. He says, "Destroy it." Find a way to destroy it. Please. I love the video so much. At first, the first time I watched it, I was like, I can't look at this. This is awful. And then you just start seeing all these little Easter eggs like throughout what's an Easter egg? it. Well, like you have, like you point at the camera, first of all, and you make the, the white man overbite. <laughs> which, <laughs> which made the whole dance, by <laughs> the way. Amazing. I mean, there's the, the two hands on the microphone itself. Yes. That's an a interesting move in itself. It is, yeah. The, the nice high socks with the shorts look. Oh, yeah, that yeah, too. Yeah. yeah. No, there's a, there's a lot going on. No, we're not doing... <laughs> I, they told me they're not doing social today. Are they doing social? They are Yeah, Carla was just yeah. in here setting up cameras. So we're on the friggin'... Okay. Yep, the mic... Watch us on. on YouTube. You can watch us on YouTube. I look like a slob again. Uh, I was going to wear yeah, a collared shirt. Yeah, you last today. I was going to wear a collared shirt. Why? If Because if we were doing, you know... Video stuff. I, but okay, again, Juan says you look yeah. like a can I, like a hobo. Can I address something mm-hmm. now? As you know, I have a. I'm predisposed to social media is negative. Yes. Okay, which is why I try and do less social media. You try and do a little more yeah, social media yeah. to make up for it. Um, Bergman is engaged <laughs> in a Twitter exchange with uh, a listener named Raymond Garcia. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. And. Greg, you've handled this beautifully. Thank you. By the way, you've what been, happened? Thank you. This guy does not like Greg at oh, all. Okay, he's, not the slightest. He's it, like just d- not a for, not a Bergman fan. And Greg's doing what I always do: is he's killing him with kindness. Sure, that's Greg, the way to go. Greg's coming back at him, and uh, and so <laughs> at one point, Greg says he Raymond comes around. He goes, the, somebody added him into the mafia. He says, I'm a loyal listener, and Ireland read a tweet from me yesterday that'll keep me a listener till the end of time. And Greg writes, even if I'm still on the show Uh. till the end of time? And his response was, yes, Bergman, that's why there's volume control and a nightly podcast listening 30-second skip. 
I truly hope you're a good dude off the air because on the air you got a Skip Bayless thing going. <laughs> no, you absolutely do not have a Skip Bayless. Going. No, no. I no. will say a lot of things about about you, but what you are not a jerk. I don't know why. <laughs> you, you, I, why does this guy think you're a jerk? Did you see what my con- what my response was? No, what'd you write? I wrote something back. I gotta now. I have to find it. you. Oh yeah, no. Here we go. Funny. He goes. I mean, okay. Greg says, well. It really depends on who you talk to. You ask my daughter, I'm great. Ask my ex, I'm a jerk. So really, it's in the eye of the beholder. I think you specifically might like me. Um, I I don't even think your ex would say you're a jerk. Not anymore. I mean, um, she would for a long, 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 yeah. <laughs> long time. But now, so, no. No, but I want to stand up for you. I disagree with you all the time, pretty much daily. Yes. But you're constantly. not a jerk. No, Greg is not a jerk. No, Greg. Greg is the opposite of a jerk. Yeah, no, he I'm plays. He's nice. wrong all the time. Never, never wrong. Yeah, you know, ne- you never get things right. But that's a fair. No, but a jerk is somebody who is like mean to people, and is you know goes out of his way to you know be an a hole. Yeah, I mean that's that, not Greg. nobody around here does that. Mm, but uh, <laughs> definitely not Bergman. No, uh, so Greg, I wanted nice. to stand up for you, Thank and you. and uh, Thank you. and most of all, uh, wrong but a nice guy. He's yeah. he's on my side now. By the way, if you keep going Raymond, on that, thank you for listening and engaging with us. By you, the way, if you keep going, on that he actually says, "All right, you've turned me, Ireland." He's he, I'm a fan of Bergman now. Okay, good. See, that's all it took. There, good. So Frankie in the LBC tweets: Someone at the In and Out Burger in Bellflower is oh. streaming the station out loud from his phone. I'm listening on my headphones. I say, Frankie. Get that, get, call us, and then hand that guy the phone. <laughs> Did you ever do that? Have you ever gone by somebody who's got the station, like, cranked? Well, I told you what happened. No. I, I, I played golf at Mountain Gate, yeah. and I w- went and hopped in the shower. Sure. And in the shower next to me, oh, right. somebody had a waterproof speaker That's listening to Travis and Slee. That's unbelievable. And so I wanted to, like... Open his door, you know, this glass door, yeah. closed shower. Yeah, I go, that's it's weird, can't yeah. do it. Yeah. Wanted to open his door and uh, say, hey, um, you know, I, I work there. I listen to those guys. I know those guys. Thanks for listening. Couldn't do it. Couldn't. Yeah. I couldn't cross that line. So, like, a week later, I tell this story in the air. Guy comes up to me and goes, that was me. I'm the guy from the shower. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, so very funny. we have loyal listeners everywhere. So I, in in and outs, in showers, wherever you go. I went uh, by, I, I had parked, this was a couple weeks ago, parked, and uh, the Amazon driver was cranking the station. Beautiful. I think it was, I think it was Shadano and Cappy. But I, I went and I just knocked on his door. I said, you know what? I'm Steve Mason from 710 ESPN. I want to thank you very much Would for listening. Would you have opened the shower door on the guy listening? Absolutely not. Yeah, too weird, right? That is way too weird. Yeah. That's that's right. That's creepy. That's yeah. creepy. Uh, so Michael Thompson is going to be here, whether Chris Morales yeah. likes him or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I think he can work his way back into Chris's good graces, but if he blows off Mandy's two, yeah. I think that's the end. You think that's over? Oh, I think he, he goes full Jamie Lannister and shoves him out a window. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I do. Wow. He was <laughs> I, I, it took two glasses of bourbon to get Chris to calm down the last time this came up. So I, I want to I coach you on something. Oh, good. So you had a dog named Reagan. Right. Reagan has, has passed away. Yep, made it to 14 and a half. Great dog. Fantastic. Uh, life, hell, fellow, well met, Reagan. So, new dog coming Sunday. New dog coming Sunday. Murphy. Now, Reagan ran your life. Correct. In other words, like when it was time to eat, Reagan would leave Lisa alone and go to you. And, and if I, you know, I don't sleep a lot. So if I would wake up even for a minute at like three in the morning, Reagan was like, game on, let's go. See, I would argue Reagan trained you as opposed to you training it's, Reagan. It is, you don't even have to make the argument. It's an absolute fact. So you're getting a new dog. Yes, but now, that what you said about Reagan is true. I found myself, and I'm sure it'll be this way with Murphy, mm-hmm. incapable of discipline you with have, the dog. Not disciplining, but don't wake up when the when Murphy How wakes up. How am I supposed to help when I wake up? No, you don't. If I wake up and look at the clock, Reagan would look at me and like start looking at my face. Let's go. At my, at my house, the dogs wake up one because they know I'm not going to budge. They leave me Same alone. Same with Lisa. They never You're try the to wake Lisa up. in this I'm scenario. I'm the Lisa, right. Yeah. So why don't you be more... Lisa like and well, just ask one if we're up we're up 
I mean, if, if Juan's up and his eyes are open, the dogs are smarter than we give him credit oh, for. Oh, no. Our dogs will go to him long before he's up. Wait, really? He's on the line. Oh, nice. <laughs> let's, let's go to our right. Will in Bellflower. Will, how you doing, man? Doing great, John. How you doing? Uh, we're good, Will. What? So, uh, tell us what you're doing. You're just you're you're hanging it in and out, listening to the show. Yeah, I do it just about every day. I, I forgot my headset because I usually listen to them, but uh, I still listen to it whether I have my headset or not. So, what do you do for what do you do for a living, man? Oh man, I sell computers and network stuff and all that. Beautiful. What teams do you root for? This, the Lakers, the Dodgers, the Rams, uh, USC. Wow, well, right, right, right up our alley. Yeah, right up our exactly. alley. Exactly. Uh, and what's your order today? My order was a double single with fries and a Diet Coke. Wait, what's a double single? That sounds like an oxymoron. It's a double burger with one slice of cheese. Ah, okay. the key to it, Got the it. one slice of cheese. Now, let me ask you something. Are you the guy from, did somebody walk up to you and hand you a phone and say, talk to Mason in Ireland? Uh, kind of. Or are you Frankie in the LBC? No, this, this, I think this is Frankie next to me. Oh, okay. Uh, so We're bringing Frank, people together. Frankie it's awesome. did exactly what I said. I said, call us and then hand the phone to this guy. Hey, thank you very much for listening, Will. We appreciate you a lot, man. You're welcome. I listen to you every day. Thanks, thank you. Will. Thank appreciate it. See? So, I, I just said to Bergman, because now I'm all paranoid. About? About the thing we're not allowed to talk don't, about. Well, oh, don't, don't talk don't, about don't, it. Don't. So, so, I just said to Bergman. We get anything to give this guy? Oh, no. And Bergman looks at me and goes, nope. nope. Well, I, I got a Mason Island t-shirt if he calls back. All right. Okay. Good. Do we? I thought we gave all those away. Oh, we might not. <laughs> we still have some. What are you saying, Jorge? Or he's oh, like, let me go look in the closet. Yeah. I think we still have some. Bob head around or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah we can find some. Yeah, just grab Bob Bob. <laughs> hey, I got a baseball what here. About, what about the state? You want to sign this baseball? Oh, we got some bats that might be I don't know. I don't think we're allowed to. I don't think we're allowed to do impromptu giveaways, right? So if you and I sign this baseball, we cannot give it away. Just stop. Let's sign a state. What about a state? No, we can't do any. We can't make up our own prizes, is the gist of this thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Let's not do that. Well, tell Tommy we want to give him something. There's a Clinton Yates signed bat. And over there, maybe we can. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you want to see why sign back? Handsome man, call back. society, or whatever that Community. is. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Janice is walking towards me with something. Janice, uh, what do you got? Us. What the do you rules? No. <laughs> oh god, she did. She's shaking her finger at me. Janice, you're leaving in like a week. What are the? He's got the rules. Janice He's got the rules. <laughs> I thought Janice would be on our side here. Jan- Janice is leaving. Yeah, she's a short. Timer. She's like our favorite person, and she's leaving <laughs> to go to we Peacock. Have a Mason Ireland t-shirt. What do you got we there, Janice? Mason Island T-shirts. There's two large Mason Island T-shirts. Thank you, okay, Janice. Excellent. Oh, they're soft. What are we gonna do when nice. Janice Take leaves? One. I have no idea. No, we're gonna fall apart. We're, we happen. will fall. I told her. I don't know. I didn't even know who's gonna fill. We can't Impossible. possibly find cannot somebody. Be, cannot be replaced. Yeah, I would. I would have given you a huge raise to to keep you here. Uh. Janice, like you. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It's not too late. It's I'm still not... here till five. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I want to do a fantasy football trade with you. Okay. We are on the verge. Make me an offer. I'm, I, I, I love trades. I'm going to make you an offer next, and I okay. think you're going to like it. Okay. Mason and Ireland, 710 ESPN. All right, time to. Football fans, want to win 100 bucks for picking five games against the spread? Just download the Cover 5 app for free. Compete with Mason and me each week for a chance to win 100 bucks. Here's what you need to do. Download the Cover 5 app. Use code MI22 to join our show league. And then start having fun all season long. Just download the Cover 5 app. Use code MI22 to join the Mason and Ireland show league. Pick five games against the spread to win 100 bucks, Or play all season long at Cover5.com. Seven ten ESPN is giving you a chance to win one million dollars. Money, money, all the time. What I'm thinking. Million dollar Mondays. Million dollar Mondays. Listen every Monday during football season to Travis and Sliwa, Mason and Ireland, and Sadano and.
Hey, Rams fans, Travis Rogers here. You have got to get the new ESPN LA app. In fact, let's go down to the locker room and get a little help. What's up, Rams fans? This is Matthew Stafford. React to the Rams on the new ESPN LA app. This is Cooper Cup of the Los Angeles Rams. Listen to all your Rams talk on the ESPN LA app. You are just one tap away from Rams All Access. Travis and Slee, Mason in Ireland, and Sedano and Cap. Download it now on the App Store or Google Play. in Ireland your Wednesday afternoon? Be sure tomorrow you're checking out the YouTube channel because Mason in Ireland will be streaming live. Just check out our YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button. ESPN LA on YouTube. Mason in Ireland video streaming tomorrow live. And you just never know what Mace will do next. Mason in Ireland continues your Wednesday right now. All right, so fantasy football, I'm 3-0, and John. What is your record? 0-3, oh, and, nice. and my team is crippled. Yes. So I'm, I'm, ripe for, I'm ripe for a trade. What do you want to do? Okay, so I have got... Alan Lazard, who has caught yep. touchdown passes in back-to-back Yeah, weeks. he's the number one receiver in Green Bay right now. So I need a running back. Who do you want? Do I get my pick? Well, I just, who are you interested in? Uh, I'm interested in uh, Josh Jacobs. I'm interested in Devin Singletary. I'm interested in, I mean, who who amongst these guys are you willing to give up? Um, I am, I would give you Josh Jacobs for, uh, Alan Lazard straight up right now. You want to do that? God, is that a bad trade for me? So, I don't know. You to agree be honest, to it so fast. I, to be honest, I don't know. I'm just, I love making trades. So I, I would I would do that right now. I have too many Raiders. You And you have a lot of running backs. Yeah. Okay, done. Alan Lazard for Josh Jacobs. I okay. think you probably got the best of me, but that's okay. I need, I need receivers. Backs. Okay, yeah. So, uh, yeah, and you need running backs. I need running backs. Done. So that's a perfect trade. Yep. See, Done. that's the way fantasy football is supposed to be conducted. Here's the problem with my with our league, in my opinion. Not enough trades. Yeah, there is not a lot of trading. What, uh, we're playing fantasy football. We should be making trades every week. Yeah, it's all, you know, it's all fantasy. Who cares? Yeah, exactly. You know, let's see if you get lucky. All right, I'll, I'm sending it to Lenny right now, to our commissioner right now, straight up, Josh Jacobs. For Alan for Lazard. Alan Lazard. Okay. Yeah. I'm, now tell me who you think really got the best of that. Well, I think it's I got a, an everyday a, a a bell cow running back for the most part. Well, here's what I like about the trade for both of us. It's a number one for a number one. Yes. Okay. Josh Jacobs is getting eighty percent of the touches at yes, running back, which is which is the key. And when they get near the goal line, they give him the ball. I don't think he scored yet, but he will. Yep. Um, Alan Lazard is one of the few guys that. Aaron Rodgers is comfortable with. Yep. So I think he can help both of us. I don't. Bergman, who do you think wins that trade? Bergman, who do you think wins Bergman. that trade? Bergman! Bergman! Pay attention to the damn show. I was helping Michael Thompson with his we phone. We just made a fantasy right. football trade. Alan you Lazard did. for Josh Jacobs. Who gets the better half of that deal? Who got Alan Lazard? Me. You got the better half of that deal by a large, large not margin. No, large no, no, no. Uh, Josh Jacobs is not as great. He's first of all, he was just hurt. I mean, he's he's been playing okay, but he's not going to be I'm getting that so many snaps. Tired of people just taking no, I Josh Jacobs the trade, was that was a bad trade. That I was a bad not. trade. No, I hope trade. this trade works for you, Emmy. You're you're off to a good start. I I'd like to see you finishing the money for the first time in six years. I think I'm going to do it. So I told you I, I had breakfast sober. with Tom Russo from Team Five this morning. Oh, did um, you? Yeah, and uh, Tom is three and zero like you. He's the guy who has Josh Allen. Yeah, there are three, three, four, three and zero teams, four and there are four zero and, and three teams. teams. Oh yeah, yeah. there are. Yeah, so, so there's not a lot of balance in our league. Yeah, so I'm not normally if you're zero three, it's like, hey, I get first pick on the waiver wire, but I'm actually the best of the un of the winless. So they actually, yeah. Get so the I'm probably not going to get who I want. Yeah. So but, you know right. that Josh Jacobs has not broken hundred yards this year. Right. He has zero touchdowns. Well, Alan Lazard's hurt all the time. 
Yeah, but he's he's their number one receiver. Well, Josh Jacobs is their number one running that back. Doesn't, that of doesn't the team that's going to go on a fourteen. Game. By the way, did somebody a, bust your chops? Yeah, Listen to this. That was fun. Listen to this. Some guy tweeted yesterday. <laughs> so ridiculous. The, peop, the, the things that people latch on to. Okay. Like people were serious. Seriously <laughs> upset with Bergman and I that we said the Raiders are about to go fourteen and three. <laughs> I know. Like, I know. I, Come I, on, man. Right, right. Leonis Sir, 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 Word says. Seriously, I tr- Greg, I think it's offensive that you and John are predicting the Raiders here's, are going fourteen and three. Here's hacky. one of the actual. We've been doing it for five <laughs> I, years. I truly respect your fandom, but stop with the fourteen and three talk. We I will not stop. No. I don't <laughs> hate on the Raiders, but y'all sound goofy when y'all lie. Bring on the state me of the goofy. Team. It's we, okay. You're who living we beating a, this week, Bergman? It's okay. You're living a great life. Stop lying to yourself on Sundays. We are not lying to ourselves. The Raiders have won the last 16 Super Bowls. Yes. This is going to be 17 in a row, and we're about to go 14 and 3. I'm so, not seeing what the problem is here. They're playing the Broncos at home. Broncos? Russ, dangerous. Oh, look, Let's ride, Derek Carr. If you come guys, on. If you guys, see, I think the Broncos, are. they look awful. This is how this game's going to go. It's going to come down to the wire. Yep. All right? It's going to be very close. Okay. It's going to be, at the very end of the game, it's going to be Broncos 21 mm-hmm. and Raiders 20. Mm-hmm. But then Nathaniel Hackett is going to get called for three consecutive delay, delay of, of games. games. <laughs> and then they're going to do a butt punt, and we're going to get a safety and win 22-21. Nice. Oh, here he is. The great Michael Thompson is here. It's MT. I, yeah, we did take I Listen, Michael, his hair, you can't mess up. Even once I totally screwed yeah, up I let him. Yeah, I let him have his way with me. He, now, by the way, what would happen if your hair grew out? Weird. Would it come in? <laughs> a little creepy. So would weird. it come in gray? Have you ever seen Grady on Sanford and Son? Grady, right. you like, big I dumb. Like, I look like Mace or anything but a, a gray afro. <laughs> and Might I'm, be good. No, I'd look really old. Older than you I know, really Did you know that Morales does not like you? No, I didn't. John that. announced that to yeah. you today. No, no, he doesn't like you. I think. Get out! I think because. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Rat. I think because you refuse to go to the Mandy's. Oh, is that why? Yeah, which is like the most important night of his life. Well, that was true. It was a big show, and I do regret not going. I, do I you regret not right, so going? So I'm telling you now, your yeah. your one chance to get back in Chris's good graces. How do I do that? Mandy's two. You got to take a speaking part. Oh, no, I you got to be part of it. No, I'll be we all spoke. No, we all spoke. You, if you win an award, you, you say, yeah, hey, if you would have gone up to accept your award as the uh, yeah, funniest, funniest host, can I, that's say, can I just say thanks and sit down? Yeah, no, sure. Yeah, sure. But you, you'll disappoint yeah, but he'll, the crowd. Uh, yeah, he'll want you to be part of a bit. If you be part of the oh, bit, no, then. I'm into bits. <laughs> You're not into well, bits. Well, there, there's no. the dichotomy Boy, right there. No. It's Morales, king of bits. Michael, not into bits. I'll go. Immovable object, irresistible force. Wait, we have it. We have it right there. He said, I'll go. I'll I'll go. Go. Oh, I'll yeah, go. yeah. Where's the next one going to be? Mandy's 2. It was, it'll be right by your like house, like the last Phillips. one. No, no. it'll be right by your house. The last one was closer to your house than my house. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll go. I missed I, I, You guys thought I had a lot it of was fun. Really, it was a really fun yeah. night. It was I, I a really was, fun I night. I regretted not going. It's okay. like I wasn't going to go to Maui for the reunion, but I was happy I showed up. There you yeah, go. Yeah, but I, I played golf with Worthy yesterday, Michael, yeah. and he was telling me more stories about the reunion. That thing sounds like it might have been the greatest trip of all time. And they want to do another one in a few years in the Bahamas at Bahama Resort. Oh, really? He showed me a video of, you know, Kareem has not been in great health. He's 75. Of Kareem Tear it up the dance yeah, floor. Didn't I send it to you? Uh, well, you sent me the one of Stu I dancing. Thought, oh, I love to but, say uh, it Kareem. Kareem, Kareem was Kareem, oh, it up? like to all of them. Oh yeah, wow. All of those dudes. Like, it, and it was a, it was a, a big just. Jeffrey t- Osborne was a week performing. long party. Jeffrey Osborne went over there for three days, On and they just the kept. Wings of love. Yeah, they just kept giving him the mic, and he would go up and do a live concert, <laughs> and these guys were all either. A, sing with them, or B, start dancing. Because he's like the lucky national anthem singer, Correct. Yeah, he? I think yeah. at one one of the years Michael played, they were he did the anthem for every playoff game, and they were like 21 and 1. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is this it? You're showing me the Kareem? Uh, no, that's yeah. Kareem dancing? Yeah. And we'll, we'll find a way to. Yeah. Is he really? Oh, that's great. <laughs> Oh, he was, he, was cut, wow. he was cutting up a rug, as they yeah, say. Yeah, nice. Now, were you dancing? I hope you no, were dancing. No, Why well, you I, wouldn't uh, do it? Well, I got up there. I, I moved my hips a couple of times like Elvis, but I was on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing Overrated. at? Elvis could dance. <laughs> he could dance. Oh, Elvis could dance. That's right. That's for sure. They wouldn't, let a, him, they wouldn't show his hips on the Ed Sullivan show, remember? That's right. There's a great line in the Elvis movie where his mom is at one of his shows, and and they she says she's sitting there with a couple of 
guys and she says oh god their girls are going crazy storming the stage she goes please don't hurt my baby and the guy standing there she goes hurt him they want to and they yeah, cut, right. they do an edit like yeah. right there they don't want to hurt him they yeah, wanna... I, do you think that movie i think that movie's worth watching i think it's fun yeah emily hebel hated it yeah, Emily. Because really she thought Tom it. Hanks was bad. I Mace, thought Tom Hanks was good. I thought Tom was a little hammy. Mace, I got a couple of good jokes for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, let's hear them. Live for a good Michael Thompson <laughs> joke. All right, let's hear them. All right, let's try this one. See if Mace likes it. Okay. An Indian, a Mexican, and a blonde. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. This can't end badly at all. Finger listen. on the dump right, button. Here go. Here we go. Uh, guys are uh, construction workers on top of a tall building. Mm-hmm. At lunchtime, the. Irishman opens his. Uh, Wait, well, how did an Irishman oh, get in there? I met an Irishman, Mexican, and a blonde. Okay. Uh, Irish time. So it's basically me, Irish, yeah. Morales, and Amanda. Oh, you, okay, Jorge, and, yeah. uh, okay. and Amanda. Got it. At <laughs> lunchtime, the Irishman opens up his lunchbox to find Irish food in it, and he says, Man, if I get one more Irish food lunch, I'm going to jump off this building. Corned beef and cabbage. Yeah, no doubt. exactly. Yeah. The Mexican opens his lunchbox and finds Mexican food for his lunch, and he says, If I get Mexican food for lunch again, I'm going to jump off this building too. The blonde opens his lunchbox, mm. finds a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and the blonde says, if I get one more stupid peanut butter and jelly sandwich, I'm going to jump off this building too. So the next day, the Irishman, the Mexican, and the blonde all get the same meals for lunch so that they all jump off the building to their deaths. At the funerals, the Irishman's and Mexican's wi- uh, widows said, you know, if we only knew they didn't like their lunches that we prepared for them, you would have packed something else in the lunch boxes. The blonde's widow said, I don't know what his problem was. He packed his own lunch. <laughs> <laughs> that was a long way for that. My God, lot. that's a long joke. <laughs> <laughs> you get it? He packed his own it's lunch because like he was blonde. Uh, that joke is so long, we actually... Almost had to go to break. <laughs> <laughs> Almost had to go to break. I, I liked it. You didn't like it, man? I liked no. it. I no. thought, that was a good one. It, it was, was a long way to get to a simple punchline. Very, punch very line. long way. All right. Uh, Michael Thompson hanging out. Coming up next, going to no spin, the, spin the wheel of questions. Oh, Mason and I got a Ireland. question for Michael, too. Okay, good. All right. uh, Mason in Ireland, 710 ESPN. Travis. Football fans, want to win 100 bucks for picking five games against the spread? Just download the Cover 5 app for free. Compete with Mason and me each week for a chance to win 100 bucks. Here's what you need to do. Download the Cover 5 app. Use code MI22 to join our show league. And then start having fun all season long. Just download the Cover 5 app. Use code MI22 to join the Mason and Ireland show league. Pick five games against the spread to win 100 bucks, Or play all season long at Cover5.com. 710 ESPN is giving you a chance to win $1 million. Million Dollar Mondays. Million Dollar Mondays. Listen every Monday during football season to Travis and Sliwa, Mason and Ireland, and Sedano and Cap. All you have to do is make a super prediction. And you can win a mill. And you can score tickets to a game at SoFi for just playing on Million Dollar Mondays. Million Dollar Mondays. 710 ESPN. Hey Rams fans, Travis Rogers here. You have got to get the new ESPN LA app. In fact, let's go down to the locker room and get a little help. What's up Rams fans? This is Matthew Stafford. React to the Rams on the new ESPN LA app. This is Cooper Cup of the Los Angeles Rams. Listen to all your Rams talk on the ESPN LA app. You are just one tap away from Rams All Access. Travis and Slee, Mason in Ireland, and Sedano and Cap. Download it now on the App Store or Google Play. of questions wheel of questions is presented by our friends at puente hills toyota got a car that's just sitting around not being used bring it to puente hills toyota today for an instant cash offer puente hills toyota the house of yes producer jorge are you ready with that wheel hit it 
Oh, this is a good day to have Michael here for this question. Okay, here we go. If you were a dictator of a small country, okay, Bahamas, what crazy dictator thing would you do first? That's a great question. Because obviously you're all about yourself and empowering yourself and enriching yourself and yes. the peasants be damned. Yes. Uh, so uh, let's see. What would I do first? Uh, definitely uh, fill my bank account. Oh, That's you it? just you yeah. just take out my just take people's money. May- well, it's the state's money, but yeah, like, you know, you, lots of all these dictators in Africa do. They they load up their no, own that's bank true. accounts. That's so, true. Mace, yeah. the first thing I would do is, and you know about this because you're a world traveler. Yes. When I went to Italy, yep, like six seven years ago. I was shocked to learn that they have this thing in Europe called siesta. Yeah, right. Where everybody basically leaves for lunch at like 12, 30, 1 o'clock. And it's a long lunch. And they eat, drink, have a big lunch, and then everybody goes and takes a nap. That's yes. Only in Italy, right? And they don't know. It's all in Europe, I think. Well, Spain. Spain, too? Spain oh, okay. for sure. Hey, yeah, you lived in Italy. In Italy, yeah. I, did I people, found that out. Did people do, like, did everything close? Close from about noon to about four, but then they stay Beautiful. open until 10 o'clock. Mace, Beautiful. you think I can make that happen in my uh, small country? Just shut it down from noon to four. You're you do whatever you want. You're a dictator. You can Siesta. do whatever you want. Yeah. That's my answer. How about you? Uh, let's see. What would I do? See, the, my first idea is such a bad idea because a dictator would never do it. Uh, but I would move election day to a Saturday. That's oh, that's something I've always wanted to they do. They don't have elections in, in dictator. <laughs> yeah, you have, but why would you vote yourself why, out? Like I said it's not a good dictator. Right. Thing. Jorge, crazy dictator thing. I, would, I know what you're going to do. I know what you're going to say. Go ahead. I was going to say the money thing. I'm with Michael on yeah. the money Oh, I thing. thought you were going to say uh, anytime the World Cup is on, no one has to work. Yeah, nobody works in the World Cup. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one, That's John. a good one. Yeah. You yeah. know what Pepe would want to do? He'd want everybody to acknowledge him. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> He'd want the people to like, Bergman, which crazy dictator thing would you do? I mean, if I'm a dictator, I'm a bad person. Right. Correct. No, you are. Well, you could be. Or oh, yeah. you could be well, a benevolent a dictator. dictator. Yeah, there's, there's no, no be- such thing as a benevolent <laughs> no. dictator. You're a dictator. No. Uh, so, you're a dictator. Name one, Ireland, in history. Nelson Mandela. He wasn't he was a dictator. Not a dictator? What are you talking <laughs> about? <laughs> no, but a dictator was the opposite of a dictator. No, no, no. He went to prison yeah, for, for freedom. many, many but years. Wait a minute. Nelson was Mandela. he not? No, when he was he not the president though? Yeah, but he got elected. He got elected. Open elections. Right. So, but he was benevolent. But he, he was a dictator. dictator. <laughs> he was elected so, in free and fair Castro. elections. But, but this is a di- Castro, we're giving yeah. him. No, we're giving him a a dictatorship of a small country. You're giving Nelson Mandela be nice. a dictatorship. Well, of a small I mean, can't country. anymore now. <laughs> but uh, he wouldn't have taken it because he was all about the people. Well, if I'm a bad person, if I'm a bad dictator, there are there's the no purge. Good dictators. We're going to start the purge. Start everyone, the can purge. Go, the, uh, everyone can just go. Everyone can just go out, no, like Logan, steal everything. Like Logan's fight. run. No, if you <laughs> turn thirty, you're dead. Did you ever watch the purge? It's basically just <laughs> yeah. kill the weak people. <laughs> right. yeah. Everybody just go out, Jeez. do what you want. Calling the herd. Yeah, yeah that's come, a little extreme. Come for you, Mr. Dictator. Hey, well, that's I, well, that's fine. But I'll, that's fine. I'm protect myself. <laughs> I'm a thing, dictator. You stay as, away from a, me. A dictator of my country. No salary caps in sports. I like that. No salary caps. Yeah. Why just, would they get any money at all if you're a dictator? Yeah. Why would they not just Oh, because I need free. to be entertained. Yeah, but, but you just order them to yeah. entertain you. you right. Just don't like, treat them like the you people know, like in boxes. That, Make like a box and don't pay them. Like that great dictator Nelson Mandela. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, no. Well, I'm not saying that Nelson Mandela was a dictator. I'm saying he would be a good person to give a yes. dictatorship to. No. Sir. No. No, yeah. the power would corrupt him. Yeah. I, really? You think? Yeah. yeah. If you can t- control all the money and everything, yeah. It's I, just you too know what I do? I get rid of the mail. Mail is stupid. Who well, it may happen anymore? organically, Who right? needs mail? It's, it's a, a waste of money. I, I know we own it and everything, yeah. but it's a total waste of money. I mean, I can get an email. I can get a Zoom call. I can get Jeez. I can get communications in a whole what bunch about of different... the art of writing a romantic letter? When was the last time you wrote a romantic letter, Mike? Well, I was about 14. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Are you 85 now, so that's like 70 years? It was one of those ones that yeah. said, do you like me? And it had a box that right. said yes right. and a box that yeah, said no. So you don't want that? Uh, I, I asked Michael how he got Julie to go out with him, and he said, what do you mean, how I got it? He said, I walked up to her, he said, I'm a Laker, let's go out. There tickets, go. baby, tickets. <laughs> Want to go or not? There you go. So, <laughs> what is that? That's all it takes. I'm a Laker, let's go out. That's right. That, I mean, that works. That was his that whole, that was his whole <laughs> approach. All right, so. It works for Austin Reeves. Michael, I want to ask you, I want to ask you about something. You uh, know, certainly know of, I don't know if you have a personal relationship. Do you have a personal relationship with DeAndre Ayton? Well, I say hello to You ever to met him? him? Yeah, of course. We okay. meet all the time. From the Bahamas. Everybody knows everybody yeah, in the Bahamas. Bahamas. Well, there's yeah. been, two, like there been two players in the history <laughs> of the NBA yep. who were drafted first overall from the Bahamas. Michael Thompson and DeAndre, and DeAndre Ayton. Ayton. Yep. That's it. So, you remember last season 
Michael, DeAndre Ayton was benched in Game 7 against the Mavericks. He only played 17 minutes. The whole team should have been benched. Uh, they were all playing terrible. And after the game, somebody asked Monty Williams, why would you bench DeAndre Ayton? He said, it's internal. Mm-hmm. It's internal. Yeah, that was his answer. And so then the offseason rolls around, and they won't give DeAndre Ayton a contract. So Indiana gives him $133 million mm. signing offer sheet. For four years. For four years. And the Suns, the same day, the Suns match it. So he, so he can't leave. He's now getting $133 million from the Suns. Yep. So I thought, well, that's a little awkward. You're benched in your last game. Your coach won't say But I'm why. sure you've hashed it out by now. Right. So somebody asked DeAndre Ayton yesterday at practice, how did you two move past that? Play this exchange. Monty, have you and Coach kind of been able to move on from the um, How have you and Monty kind of been able to move I on? Spoken from... this, you haven't no, spoken? I haven't spoken at all. So not not even not even you hoping that changes here eventually soon? You have to do your kid? Yeah, I'm alright. So okay. I, it was kind of hard to hear, the but he basically of shoes, the bouncing of balls. Yeah, he basically said, How did you and Monty get past what happened in last year and in the offseason? He says, I haven't spoken to Monty. And the reporter said, At all? He goes, I Haven't talked to him since that day. Since he benched me in that game. Wow. And he said, Do you hope that changes? He says, I don't know. He goes, Are you happy to be here, DeAndre? I'm all right. Michael, why would Monty Williams, who, who is a smart guy, yes. why would he not speak to DeAndre Ayton, especially when they match the offer sheet? DeAndre Ayton's getting $133 million. Isn't part of it. Coach, didn't you tell me Pat Riley once? Felt so bad about uh, yelling at you that he called your house and apologized to Julie for getting mad at you? Yeah, but he didn't have to. I'm a grown man. I, I messed up on a play, cost us the game, and uh, I knew I made a mistake, and he yelled at me for it. And uh, I'm a professional, mature adult, so I could take it because I, I, I effed up. So I deserve to but get yelled But don't you at. feel this is weird that no. these two guys haven't I mean, talked? Michael, come on, it's weird. You no. bench oh, the guy in you game know, I'm so seven. sick of this touchy-feely oh, era. So, oh, oh, i got to put my arm around out, you. Hash it out, man. Oh, yo, I'm hash so it sick. Out. No, my, Michael, oh, not touchy-feely, but not speaking to him at oh, all. But I, in the, like in the, the day the touchy-feely. day they match the offer, you don't send him a text <laughs> and say, hey, DeAndre, no. uh, we're, we're really happy we were able to get you back. Looking forward to high school? When I, when I played... Uh, so this is nothing? No. Based on when I played for Jack Ramsey or even for Pat Riley, yeah. I didn't need to hear from them in the off season. I'm on my own. They're on their own. This is our free time. But, but I don't need to hear from the coach. Are you telling me they have camp. exit interviews? Do they not? They yeah, do we, not we, in Phoenix. Oh, they, they don't do them. Some teams do. That's I, what. I always hated them. You know, what, what am I coming and talk for? The season's over. I know what I have to prove on. I don't need to come in there for a pep Yeah, talk. but you owe the fans an explanation. The fans? Yeah, fans are, uh, deserve an explanation. You mean me? Yeah. Why'd you bench that guy? Why'd you bench Why'd that guy? Why'd you bench guy? the guy that makes $133 I knew, I knew, million? I knew why he benched him. And he says internal. That means he didn't think DeAndre was playing hard enough. But he if, it's, inter- if it's internal, why would you not later have a conversation with him and say, hey, look, what happened? We're going to start fresh the, uh, this season. You know, that what happened happened. We're moving on. At least DeAndre's 23. He's a grown man. Uh, he don't, he knew what he did wrong. Why the coach was upset with him? I don't need the coach pat me on my back all summer. I'm in the Bahamas spear. Fishing. Really? I don't need to hear. From do you the think? Coach. Wait a minute. I, and I know there was a lot of squeaking and there was a lot of basketball there. But it do you, did it sound like DeAndre was happy? No, it sounded like he moved on. I, like he said, he's a, he's an adult. The oh, coach, I think I, he's got an axe to grind. Oh, I think what? he's got an axe so to what? grind. Go out there and get me 25 points. And 15 he did rebounds. say, Michael. To your point, DeAndre. They said. Don't you? Somebody said, "Don't you want to talk to him about what's going on?" And DeAndre said, "I'd rather show him." Yeah, exactly, Mace. Oh, is that right? That's yeah. the professional way. I'll show this coach I can go get twenty-two and twelve every night. That's just job, not to be over there getting all kissed on the butt by Marty Williams. Do your job. Bill Belichick says his best. Do your job and stop worrying about. I'm all actually this stuff. surprised by no, your take on this. I yeah, didn't I am no too. Coach giving me flowers and because I think you, I think you always want to know where you stand. Yes, you in do. an organization, in a to... company, where do I stand? Right. Where does DeAndre Ayton stand you know if, the, if the head coach hasn't even spoken you know to he him? Stands? This is a starting center getting thirty million bucks a year. That's good enough for me. And the touchy feely thing is this is oh, not touchy feely thing. This is business. Oh, this I is hashing he's, stuff he's, out. He's got to call you and say, "I'm so sorry." He doesn't how, have to how apologize. Are you feeling is that what you want, Mace? 
can I come over and cook you breakfast? Well, I did watch that Dodgers-Yankees thing last mm-hmm. night, and Reggie Jackson and Billy Martin basically yeah. were at each other's throats right. for right. the entire time. Yeah, that's. I, but I think that's a different That's a different scenario. Many people was mad at Phil Jackson all the time. How many rings they got? Come on. What is wrong with you? Kobe and Shaq never got along. How many rings did they win? It's all about uh, pr- I just think it's results. easier to clear the air than yeah, not. Yeah, why not? Why not just It's fine it. if you want to, but if uh, uh, when I was a player, I didn't need the coach coming to me uh, kissing my tail. I got a job to do. Hey, DeAndre. Dave uh, what happened happened. Says, We're moving on. Dave Roberts says center. he has a card with every player's name on it who's on the active roster for that night, and he makes a point to at least acknowledge all 25 guys. Now it's 26. Yeah. Every night there's a game. Like, he'll look at the list. Yeah. I haven't seen Trace Thompson yet today. I'm going to go. He'll walk out and he'll go, Trace, you good? Yes, sir. That's fine. All right, boom. That's fine if that's his style. There's nothing wrong with it. But I don't need a coach coming up to me and, and asking me how's, how, how's things going. No, I'm fine. Leave me alone. I, I just got a job to do. <laughs> Leave me alone. Leave what, do me you, alone. Do you need, what, self-assurance every day, Mace? Michael, do you listen, want, Does Amanda listen. have to come in here and give you a hug? Affirmation is like oxygen for me. I need it all the time. <laughs> <Yeah>. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously because you're so insecure. Is that what I it is? I am insecure when you get down well, to it. The other day, the yeah, other day we, asked, you. we asked Amanda, <laughs> hey, if, if we're about to leave, if we're about to get fired, would you let us do a last show? Mm-hmm. And she said, sure. You guys can do a last show. I won't be here. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Why? She's not going to get fired. No, but she just, oh, you know, it, it's like it, if, if yeah. she did. I got the sense if she was still working here, we would not be doing oh, a last I disagree. Show. I got the impression that we would absolutely do a farewell show unlike everybody at but Channel would you 5. Be, would, yeah. you be, <laughs> but would you be petty about it, Mace, or would you be classy? I'd be classy. Are you kidding me? I look. When I leave here, I will go on my own terms. Right. Yeah, I'll so go on my own terms and I'll say goodbye and yeah. then a farewell, everybody. But Had a you lot get of fun. Fired before your your own turn. Can't imagine me being fired. Can't imagine what I would have to do to get fired here. Hmm. Well, just keep listening. <laughs> it's coming up. <laughs> yeah, coming up next. It may happen today. <laughs> right after we the break. We almost got fired last week. Right after the break. All right. So uh, controversy. LeBron James. Named his all-time Lakers starting five. That's hard to do, by the way. Oh, very it hard. Is. And not a lot of people. Well, there's a very, very big name that is missing from it. We'll do that. Any up. starting five you do, we'll probably have that. But this is this is a one that I think almost everybody would have. Very on. big oversight. We'll do that coming up next. Mason and Ireland, seven ten. Football fans, want to win 100 bucks for picking five games against the spread? Just download the Cover 5 app for free. Compete with Mason and me each week for a chance to win 100 bucks. Here's what you need to do. Download the Cover 5 app. Use code MI22 to join our show league. And then start having fun all season long. Just download the Cover 5 app. Use code MI22 to join the Mason and Ireland show league. Pick five games against the spread to win 100 bucks, or play all season long at Cover5.com. Seven ten ESPN is giving you a chance to win one million dollars. Money, money, all the time. What I'm thinking. Million dollar Mondays. Million dollar Mondays. Listen every Monday during football season to Travis and Sliwa, Mason and Ireland, and Sadano and Cap. All you have to do is make a super prediction, and you can win a mill. And you can score tickets to a game at SoFi for just playing on Million Dollar Mondays. Million Dollar Mondays. Seven ten ESPN.
Good Karma Brands Radio Station. And it is Mason and Ireland, your Wednesday afternoon. Be sure tomorrow you're checking out the YouTube channel because Mason and Ireland will be streaming live. Just check out our YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button. ESPN LA on YouTube. Mason and Ireland video streaming tomorrow live. And you just never know what Mace will do next. Mason and Ireland continues your Wednesday right now. Hey, there's yeah, some there he is. Oh, he's, he signed us live two feet in front of me, Mason. Is that was right? It's what a voice. Oh, what a great guy. You got to get him back singing the anthem at Lakers games. What, uh, what's his, he has a big dance song, too. What's his big dance song? Jeffrey uh, Osborne. He's got another hit that's a big dance song. When he was the lead singer of LTD, that was a big oh, dance there you song. Go. Back in, that's called Back, back in Love Again. That's the song again. you're thinking yeah. about. Yeah, right. Oh, um, but, song. no, the one he had was, um, uh, <laughs> Stay With Me Tonight was his Stay big dance tonight. hit. That was a gigantic yeah. record, yeah. yeah. Well, he still could do it. I think he's 74, and he's still... Is he really he, 74? He still brings that energy and still got that great voice. He's How how old are you again? 67. Do so I, Do I look it? You, Michael, you look great. <laughs> 467. 467. <laughs> You don't look a day over 67. 67. I'll take it. Exactly. All right, so, so LeBron was asked by, of all people, Alan Sliwa Fire from Sliwa. the Daily Laker show. Yeah. Now, Fox. I'm going to try and play this off Dang. of my computer. This is going to sound a little weird, but here, here, listen to this. I like your hypothetical about Sliwa. Oh, wait a John's going to play something. Uh, if I can. Hey, hey, Mace. Hey, hey, Mace. Hey, hey, got hey, 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 Mace. I got something here. Hey, Mace. I got something here. All right, so here we go. Okay, here we go. This is Allen. Starting five. Who are you putting in that top five? All-time starting five yep. for the Lakers. Uh, I'm going uh, Magic at the one, Jerry West at the two, Kobe at the three, myself at the four, and Shaq at the five. I mean, Shaq is so dominant. Starting okay, five. Okay, so yeah, there, there it is. There it is. Um, now, he left out Kareem, Michael. Can you do an all-time starting five? There's nobody on that list that's not in the Hall of Fame. Correct. So, hold on just one second. So, do you know when that was from? No. No. That was from 2019. Oh, Maker's well, good. Day. It's okay. All, it's all right. Just so you know. Okay. Just so you know. It's our video, so you can see that on ESPN Los Angeles. Okay. Okay. So, it, somebody just drug, drug Dra- it dragged it out. Yeah. It's a, okay. It's a story today. I, Michael, all five of those guys have impeccable credentials. Oh, yeah. Yep. But okay. no Kareem. Can right. you do an all-time Lakers starting five without Kareem? Let me put it this way. You cannot do an all-time NBA starting five without Kareem. Not only Lakers. <laughs> exactly. Like NBA, period. NBA, period. The history of the league, Kareem is your starting center. So I understand LeBron's showing respect towards Shaq, and Shaq is one of the all-time greats. There's no doubt about that. Nobody's doubting that. But if you are going to start and uh, name the first player uh, as you make your all and all-time Laker starting five, Kareem's name and Magic's name have to be the first two names to come up first. Okay, now yeah, Kareem, and Magic, and Kobe are like that's the let me let me, th- let me throw this and, out. And also, you cannot move Kobe to three. You got to put him at the positions. Okay, well, if that's the case, so your Jerry West is out for right. you. Yes, or that's the start. So who's your five? You're- My five all-time Magic and, and Kobe in the backcourt. I mean, that's not even for, open for yeah. debate. Front court, LeBron. Yep. Kareem at center. Elgin Baylor as the other forward. Ahead of Worthy. Ahead yeah. of AD. Yeah, yeah, because if you ask basketball historians who was a better player, Elgin Baylor or James Worthy, 95% of them say Elgin. Now, I've said for years, if you give me all the ex-Lakers and I give you every other team, mm-hmm. the, all the 29 teams, my right. team would beat you. Yes. That, that the Lakers' history is that yes. good. Yep. But, Mace, remember when during the pandemic there were no sports going on? Oh, yeah, I remember. So we played... NBA 2K against each other, and everybody drafted Lakers. It was only Lakers. And so Mason, I took Kareem. I had Kareem and Elgin. Wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mason took Shaq. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. All right. Shaq. Nobody could check Shaq. Nobody. Shaq scored Shaq, every Shaq time. Shaq dominated got Wilt. Fouled. He dominated Kareem. Yep. He dominated Mikan. He, he dominated LeBron. Yep. He Remember that? And so, oh, yeah. Maybe LeBron's right. No, because Kareem was, uh, in, in the last two minutes, last minute you can give the ball to Kareem, he can knock down three Well, the other thing is the and longevity, longevity, the, most the history, the, the uh, more points than anybody in the history years, of the league. I mean, 14 years, five championships. Shaq, eight years, three. So I was thinking, last night I started studying for, I have a, just a mountain of homework coming up. You, uh, you got the Sacramento throwdown on Monday. Right, so I started studying for Sacramento. Okay. The rest of that game here? Here. And then we go to Vegas the next day. You ready to go to Vegas? No. 
<laughs> Why not? Is that like where they bring all the sponsors and oh, all yeah. that stuff? Oh, yeah. I'm not a Vegas guy like me. We used to go to that. Well, well you know, yeah, Michael, we anymore. have two games there this year. We, we, next Tuesday, we fly to Vegas, mm -hmm. and then we have games Wednesday and Thursday in Vegas. But I was thinking about, I think the biggest blown draft pick in the history of the NBA is... Marvin 19, Bagley. No, no, that's where I was going, though. But, oh, it's one of them. <laughs> no, I think, I think it's Portland taking... Mike was on this oh, team. Oh, sure. Portland yeah, taking Sam Bowie. Because they felt like they already had Michael Jordan, or already had Clyde Drexler, yeah. and, and they, they needed need another. Oh. They needed another wing, and and Stu Inman, who was the GM in Portland, was friends with Bobby Knight, yep. uh -huh. who had just got done coaching the Olympics, and he called his buddy Inman and he said, "Stu, you have to take Michael Jordan." And Stu said, "I'd love to, Coach, but we need a big guy. Uh, I need a center. We already have Clyde Drexler. Him and Michael play the same position. Um, I need to take a center, so I'm going to take Sam Bowie." And Bobby yeah. Knight said, "Stu." Play Jordan at center. Yeah. He's he's the best basketball oh. player I have ever seen. Yeah, passing a kidney stone. And Idman wouldn't do it. So I think that's number one of blown draft picks. But, Michael, here's my question. Marvin Bagley, number two, ahead of Luka. Is that number two? Is that the second worst hmm. miss of a draft pick? Sacramento passing on Luca to take Marvin back. They've already traded him. They traded him to yeah, Detroit. Yeah, because I only want to say what possible the other number two probably is. So I'll take that one. What is the other possible? I don't want to bring it up. What do you mean? Just let's, let's just move no, on. No, you we can't do that. We say whatever we want on the show. You s speak. Give me give me speak. the year. No, I I don't want to bring it up, guys. Bring Come it up. on. Michael, th this is not a show where you can hold back. You have to, you have to well, go there, man. And plus, it, it can't be an original thought. Other people have to have thought, agreed yeah, with you on this. You have to forgive me, but I refuse to bring it up. Is it you? Is it the <laughs> year you shut up? All right. Is it? Oh, who, it is. Who, who, got, who got drafted after you? We don't have to bring it up. Let's forget about I'm it. I'm looking it up if you don't tell I'm me right looking, now. I'm looking it's it up. It's not on already. the internet. Even if, <laughs> the internet does, wasn't around even if he does there. tell me, I'm looking it up. It wasn't around back there, so it can't be on the internet. Uh, I'm trying to think of was was there like a super Hall of Fame no, guy taken? No, there had to have been. No, no, not at all. I've never seen Michael like this because yeah, I don't want to. I don't like the subject. Uh, okay, all oh, right. Wow. First overall pick. This is the most sensitive I've ever seen. All right, I pulled. I have pulled up the 1978 NBA draft. Okay, so yeah. let's see who. How did that? I thought that wasn't on there. No, that's everything's oh. on the internet, Michael. Shh, Larry Bird. Oh, you oh. said it. Oh. Oh. Larry Bird. And it was kind of a genius Idiot. move. Oh. By, it was kind what? of a what genius move. What are you laughing at, Mace? By the Celtics, Mace. Oh, they fantastic. took him after his junior year. Yeah, he had one more year. Oh, right. And, and back there, the rules were, if you want to blow your draft pick, for a guy that you're not going to see for a year, yeah. it's up to you. Wow. And Red Auerbach oh. said, this guy's so good. I'll, I'll blow right. my overall pick. Well, let me ask. Let me ask you guys the mm -hmm. question: Which one is a bigger blown draft pick, Bur me over Bird or Bagley over Luca? I think it might be you over Bird. I think it's ah, you over Bird. God. Yeah. But Michael, I hate the show. Hate I, hate the show. Bird, I don't know a lot of teams that would have done what Red Auerbach did back then. That was a yeah. pretty bold move, uh, right? Four, four or five other teams had a chance to do the same thing that the Celtics. All right. So did. here's how that draft went: Michael went number one to Portland. Phil Ford, number two, to the Kansas City, now Sacramento Kings. Rick Roby, number three, to Indiana. Ooh. Michael Ray Richardson, number four, to the Knicks. Mm -hmm. Purvis Short, number five, to the Celtics, or to the Warriors. And Larry Bird, number six, oh, to the Celtics. No, you imagine. Six. But Larry Bird, you so, can't, you, Michael, you can't do it anymore, right? Like, you can't yeah. take a guy a year out and maintain so, his no. right. So when you look at it, Mace, the Blazers passed up a chance to draft Bird and Jordan. Oh, wow. 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 They did. Five years apart. Yeah. Wow. Can you imagine? And, and let's, let's say they both drafted both those guys. Yep. With Magic and Showtime have won five rings. Sliding doors, man. I know. Sliding doors. I don't know. What do you think, Ireland? I don't think so. Because I brought this up on Not the bus. Five. Wait, I so brought this Portland up. would have Jordan and, and Bird, Bird. And Bird. And whoever else they fill in around him. No, no, no. The Lakers wouldn't have dominated the yeah. 80s that way. I brought this up at Because the Celtics wouldn't have Bird. I yeah. brought this up at Magic. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I brought this up at Michael Cooper and Worthy in, in Hawaii. I said, fellas, if we would have drafted Jordan when he came out, and we'd have when had. We mean Portland. Portland. Yeah. And we would have had Jordan, Drexler, and Fat Lever in the backcourt. Remember Fat Lever? Sure, triple, great, triple double point player. guard. See, do you think you guys would have won five rings at Showtime era? 
They all said yes, right? Of course they did. <laughs> but do you guys think they would have won five? Do you no, think Blazers would have won a couple at least? Yep, Blazers would have won a couple. Yeah, I, there's you know, no question. They Bird were. and Jordan on the same team. Bird yep. and Jordan, or just God. or just if we would have drafted Jordan and didn't have Bird. Jordan, yeah, Drexler. Right, Jordan, Jordan alone. Which back? So you would have had Jordan Drexler. Drexler who and else fat, was that? Fat Lever. Was Maurice Lucas on that team? Yeah, he was there. Yeah, that would have that, that would have that team would have won. It got so, to the finals at least yeah. once. No, no, no. Maurice Lucas was gone by then. Yeah, he was gone by then. Okay, Mace, let me ask you this. Okay, as I asked, I brought this up at the. The, the Laker backcourt, too, of course, they did not agree. Mm-hmm. Which backcourt would have been better? Cooper, Byron, Magic, Drexler, Jordan, Lever. Cooper, Byron, Byron Magic. Magic. It's or close. Jordan, Drexler, Fat Lever. Well, I Fat Lever, well, folks, if you're going to remember, two was Hall a point. of Famers for Portland, one for the Lakers. Yeah, and I Fat Lever was the kind of guy to get triple doubles. Although I think Cooper's going to get Portland, in. Portland, 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 Portland gets get over. In. Portland gets over. I that. think so too. Yeah, and Cooper will get in next hey, year. Hey, Bergman just came up with another one that we forgot. Greg, what's the other one we forgot? Greg Oden over Kevin Durant. No, 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 no. Because you know why? That was awful. Only because Oden got hurt, not well, because he couldn't play. Well, Oden, he Oden was, was hurt the, his whole career. Yeah, he was the consensus number one that year. Uh, Durant, of course, turned out to be an all-time great, but Odin would have been a stud if he wouldn't have got hurt. Were you the consensus number one pick? That year? No, it was between me and Rick Roby and Phil Ford, so between the three of us. And everybody, oh, and, and Boston signed Bird a year earlier. They drafted right. him a year early. They drafted, they drafted him a year early and had a year to sign him, and yeah, they, they got it done him. before yeah. the next he, draft. He was a fifth-year senior at Indiana State because he sat out a year when he left Indiana. So that's why he was eligible for the draft that year. His four years were up, but he had one more year of eligibility. So Red Auerbach says, I'll wait for him. So they uh, drafted him and waited for him. Yeah, that's very pretty, smart. pretty brilliant. Very smart. Yeah. All right, uh, coming up next for you, here's what I want to do. I, John, you came across some uh, NFL ratings in Los Angeles that I think yeah, are weird. Pretty, pretty fascinating. Plus, there is at least one musical artist who's tired of signing autographs and says he won't do it anymore. Is it me? Because I'm not. I'll do it. I'll keep signing. You will keep signing. Yeah. No, this, this guy says no. Mason, Ireland, 710 ESPN. Football fans, want to win 100 bucks for picking five games against the spread? Just download the Cover 5 app for free. Compete with Mason and me each week for a chance to win 100 bucks. Here's what you need to do. Download the Cover 5 app. Use code MI22 to join our show league, and then start having fun all season long. Just download the Cover 5 app. Use code MI22 to join the Mason and Ireland show league. Pick five games against the spread to win 100 bucks, or play all season long at Cover5.com. Seven ten ESPN is giving you a chance to win one million dollars. Money, money all the time. What I'm thinking. Million dollar Mondays. Million dollar Mondays. Listen every Monday during football season to Travis and Sliwa, Mason and Ireland, and Sadano and Cap. All you have to do is make a super prediction, and you can win a mill. And you can score tickets to a game at SoFi for just playing on Million Dollar Mondays. Million dollar Mondays. Seven ten ESPN. Afternoon, sandwich between Travis and Sliwa and Sonato and Cap. Mason and Ireland continues now. Be afraid. Oh, I won't be afraid. Ben E. King would have been his birthday today. The reason I, I uh, pulled this up is... Any relation it, to BB? No. Uh, the reason I pulled this up is, I thought of it right away. It is one of the few songs to have charted twice. It charted in 1968. And then it charted in 1986 when the movie Stand By Me came out. Well, that's like... It's very rare that records get re-released or hit the charts again. All right. Bohemian Rhapsody? Yep. Went to number one in three different years. Yeah. All right. The first time when it came out. The second time is the one nobody gets. When Wayne's World came out. Oh, wow. Remember? In the yeah. Outfit? And then when Freddie Mercury died. 
I may have set the the order mixed up between two and three. Yeah, there are uh, there are songs that have done it. A lot of times when somebody passes away, their music hits it big, um, or hits it big again. Yeah, like that uh, happens on iTunes. If you look on iTunes, when you know David Bowie and Prince and Tom Petty died, they they go to number one in the series. Yeah, Whitney but. Houston, I will always love you in '92 and 2012. Uh, Purple Rain uh, got re released um, after Prince. Michael, died. when you were working in Minnesota, did you ever meet? Prince. No, I never got a chance to meet him. I always wanted to. He'd be he'd come he to came some, to some of the games, some right? Of the games. He Did sit, he really? Uh, yeah, he sat a few feet away from me. I always wanted to go over there and shake his little hand. Yeah, he was he was like five <laughs> five, little, right? Shake his little, little hand. Yeah, he looked well, like, you know, he looked like little sweet. You know, little sweet that commercial. Yeah, yeah, for Dr. Like Pepper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, uh, you just had Jimmy Jam on the Culture yes. Pop podcast. He was Michael and I got to know him when oh, he was yeah. a season ticket holder for the Wolves in Minnesota. Right. At right. the time, Jimmy. And Kevin Garnett were married to sisters. I yeah. think Jimmy still is. Kevin isn't. Yeah. But uh, so we'd, we'd see Jimmy at the Wolves games all the time. Jimmy, by the way, being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in December of this year. Him and Terry Lewis together. Nice. Uh, Well-deserved, super, mega, mega hit producers for years and years. By the way, somebody sent me a list of benevolent dictators. There are several. Oh, are there benevolent yeah. dictators? Impossible. Uh, uh, boss Amanda. Mustafa Alturik. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, old Mustafa. Ooh. Was a benevolent dictator, leadership of the Turkish War of Independence. Mm-hmm. Joseph Braz Tito, yep. Tito, socialist Tito federal was a bad guy. Yeah. In Yugoslavia. In Yugoslavia, he was a bad yeah, guy. He killed people. Uh, they say uh, what under what many uh, they say viewed as a unifying symbol. Yeah, by by the gun. Sure, <laughs> you better vote for me or else. <laughs> the moment he was gone, right, they became four different countries. Lee Kuan Yew. Ooh. Oh yeah, Lee Kuan Yew in Yu. Singapore. Yeah, that's a good point. And the most recent one, France Albert Rene has been characterized as a prime example of a benevolent dictator. Which country? Seashells. Oh, the Seychelles. Uh, yeah. Big E says, what about Darko over Mello, D. Wade, and Chris Bosh? Well, that's in the top five. Uh, that that might was be the on LeBron the draft. Yeah. That, yeah. That was that the LeBron draft in the yeah. Darko LeBron draft? LeBron went one, yeah. Darko two. The funny thing was, Darko was drafted by the Pistons, and their director of international Tony scouting, Ronzoni. Tony Ronzoni, came on with us yeah. five years after that. I love that story. And Tony, to this day, said, guys, and he'll he'll – completely argue with you over it you ask anybody in the nba at that time mm -hmm. there is not an executive in the nba who wouldn't have taken but didn't you second. ask him if he would do the draft again he'd do the same deal yeah and he said what yeah he said He's a dope knowing what he knows now and he goes i would do it he, he goes, would do he, it he was too much of a package of skills to pass up we we had him on the air yeah and said if you had it to do over again, he said he'd do it exactly but, the same but way. Knowing That's what just he, but knowing out. what he knew then. Knowing what he knew then. He's stupidity. <laughs> yeah. By by the way, Darko is either the youngest or the second youngest guy ever to win an NBA championship ever. ring. Taylor Horton Tucker's is the youngest American ever. There you uh, go. let's see. There's this is a good one. Uh Ralph's World says Vitaly Potopenko at 12 over Kobe at 13 well, in 1996. Yeah. You can go back and look at that whole draft and, and say, and say anybody who passed on Kobe. Uh, Lonzo Ball and Jason Tatum, says Dan Peralta. Uh -oh. Yeah. yeah. I, I think been, that's yeah. fair. It's been some monumental ones, but the, 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 the three worst, the three worst, I think, uh, are Jordan list. being going second, uh, Bird, me over Bird, and then uh, uh, Bagley over Luka, especially since Vladi Divac knew Luka and knew what he was about. So... All right, I want to get to this, uh, John. You pulled out and uh, from uh, from the Twitter uh, some ratings for the NFL, and you know I've talked a, a lot about this. You know, obviously I'm a huge Rams fan, season ticket holder. I got to be at the Super Bowl last year, didn't miss a game last year. This year I missed because of COVID, but I, I'm at every game. So um, I think that the Rams are beginning to get a real hold of Los Angeles. Uh, as an NFL franchise. And I fully acknowledge, like when I went to the Rams-Niners games last year, a lot of Niners fans totally acknowledge that. It's going to take some time. But I think the Rams are getting there. That Lombardi trophy does have a gigantic impact on fans in Los Angeles. Do you think, Michael, that the Rams are now officially our – where do they rank in terms of all the – teams we have that's in a Los great Angeles. question uh number one is the lakers number yep. two are the dodgers yep 
Number three is up for debate between SC football and the Rams. I think the Rams might be catching up to SC football. Yeah, or you, I think the Rams probably surpassed uh, yeah. uh, college football, surpassed uh, uh, the Trojans. But I, I do think that this year the Trojans – have a shot. Mm-hmm. You know what they, they did? They've they got a shot. Take them off the stupid Pac-12 network. Um, they're at ESPN this week, so that'll be good. Um, so here's the here's the tweet that you're referencing mm-hmm. from John Orrand at Sports Business Journal. NFL ratings in Los Angeles in our market okay. through Week Three. Chargers or uh, Rams lead the way. They're averaging a rating of nine, which is really good. Mm-hmm. All other teams that aren't the Rams or the Chargers. Seven point three. Okay. The Chargers six point seven. Wow. Which means other teams get more eyeballs than the Chargers. So put on an average game between two whoever you want. San Francisco Arizona. By the way, do, where do the Raiders fit into that? The Raiders he, he are part he, of the six point seven? He didn't include part of the seven point three. Seven point three. Yeah, he didn't include them specifically in this, but um but I, I find it interesting. I don't think the Chargers will ever leave because you can make too no. much money being in Los Angeles. But they really don't have a base, a, a, like a fan base no. that, that cares. And for whatever reason, they seem to be snake bit, right? Yeah, they're getting a ton of injuries. Year after year, they seem to be snake bit. Um, it's a, it, if they're healthy, it's a really good team. Uh, but I think that in the end, there there's no fan base. There won't be a fan base. Although, I'll tell you what, one thing Kaplan said that's interesting. He said people in San Diego have begun to adopt the Chargers again, even though they moved to Los Angeles. So maybe that's where the fan – but the Jacksonville game on Sunday, not sold out. Um, it was uh, – of course, Jacksonville doesn't travel. Uh, you could get into that game for 15 or 20 bucks. That that says a lot about – Well, uh, remember, Michael, we all thought the AFC West was going to be one of the great divisions yeah. of all time with the Chargers, Chiefs, Raiders, and Broncos, and now only one team in yeah. that division has a winning record. Yeah. The Chiefs. By the way, did or, you guys no, Broncos watch, do too, right? Broncos, Broncos are 2-1. Two two one. One. Yeah. Did you guys yeah. watch the Monday Night Football game? Yes. Yeah. Did you hear the Cowboy fans at Met, MetLife Stadium in New York? Yeah, they yeah. Cowboy it's fans. Like they were in Dallas. Cowboy fans are right. coming here. We've got you a know, game uh, with them uh, in two weeks, wow. and I, I fully anticipate we're going to be overrun it's by be 50, Blue 50, Stars. Right? Yeah, 50-50. Uh, yeah, Jeez. Cowboy. Of all the teams, we've got the Raiders and we've got the Cowboys you know coming what? in. It Last the, year, the Cowboys came in to play the Chargers at SoFi, mm-hmm. and it was 75% Cowboy fans. You know they should uh, have to do the coin flip for that game? Mm. Michael Cooper. You know why? Why? It's going to be the game of the Cooper Rush and the Cooper Cup. There you go. Right. The Cooper Bowl. <laughs> well, Cooper Rush won't be playing then. <laughs> yes, he will. I didn't play. No, you don't think Dak either. will be back by then? He's going to rush back because... Cooper Rush is going to make him rush back. You Do you think it? there are a lot of – yeah, we're moving up. Do you think there are a lot of lip readers amongst NFL coaches? Oh, yeah, of course. Do you think well, there are? I, I think there are a lot of lip readers among now, NFL yeah, fans. Like this, with the play card I know, up here. It's ridiculous. You, it's, it's so stupid. You know what it reminds <laughs> they me of? They do it in baseball when they go out to talk to the pitcher. You'll remember this, John. In Casino, do you remember them, uh, the FBI monitoring – Joe Pesci's character, and they would hold their hands up to the face and go, I don't know why these guys are following us. This is right. the mm-hmm. That's basically what they're doing well, now they in the do NFL. It. Nobody's reading lips well, at do. an NFL game. They do. Why do they put their gloves over their mouth when baseball players talk to each other? They do. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's Stupid. overkill, I right? Know, it is. You don't actually, right. nobody's actually reading your lips. It'd be at that hard point. to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so a guy named Billy Strings, who I have no idea who he is. Bergman's a gigantic fan of Billy Strings. My what favorite what artist, do we know Billy him? Strings. What do we know him from? Uh, does he play the drums? Pirouette for two. Does not play the drums. What the hell is pirouette for two? No idea. No, that is that just what popped into your head? That was exactly what popped into my head. So it's big hit, pirouette for two. So <laughs> And Mason's the gay one. He said <laughs> <laughs> so, Jeez, the two of you back there on the right side. My God. Billy Strings says that he will no longer sign autographs. Why? Because he says... That's okay, guys, I, would, I wouldn't ask him. I don't know who he is. Guys, yeah. guys come up to him all the time. He says at airports everywhere, and they say, can you sign this album and this thing and this thing? And then 10 minutes later, it's all on eBay. Right. That's what people are doing. That's why, like Brian Cranston told me, he's not signing any more autographs because when he does it, it winds up on eBay and somebody's just trying to turn a quick profit. Now, are they doing something wrong by taking this autograph and then putting it on eBay? Yeah, I, I mean... It's not right, right? I, I think it's a little disingenuous. 
Mike Trout was getting a lot of heat because there's a video running around of two little kids saying, hey, Mr. Trout, will you sign? Will you sign? He was getting on a bus. Right. And he said, I don't have time, guys. Sorry. And he got on the bus. Uh, what a jerk move to put that video up. Uh, but everybody said that they did a little digging, and it was somebody's kids that collects autographs and sells them. Yes. So, I mean. Yeah, I mean, it's it, to me, it just sucks. It, and I, like, I would do a selfie with that. Nobody's selling our autographs. But I, selfies, I think, are okay. Well, you Jerry can't resell Seinfeld a has the philosophy of if you come up and ask him to sign something or ask him to take a picture, he'll say no. But he'll say, I'll have a conversation with you. Oh, please. Who's got time for that? And everybody doesn't know what to do. Yeah. What do you say to Seinfeld? I He was backstage when I went to see uh, uh, Network on Broadway. And he was, I, I was like tongue-tied. I couldn't say anything. Like, that's Jerry Seinfeld, right? I didn't even know what to say. Who was backstage when you were there? Vince Gilligan. Oh, God. Who? The guy who created Breaking Bad. And Better Call and Saul. Better Call Saul. Yeah. And it couldn't have been nicer. Do you see his next project is Rhea Seahorn? Uh, is the star? It's Ray. Isn't Ray, it? Ray yeah. Seahorn. Uh, she's the star of it. Gilligan is producing it, and it's going to be on Netflix. And then I saw Bob Odenkirk just announced a new show. So we we won't have to go long with without them. Did you watch Better Call Saul? Never seen it. No, you missing out. Yeah, yeah it's, very good. It's better who's got, than Bonanza. Who's got time to That's watch what they say. Time. Better than Bonanza. I don't know about that. It tops Gunsmoke, Michael. How, how do you guys find time to watch all these shows? Michael, I, I don't sleep. That's how I find yeah, time. Mace, I mean, you, you're busy. How do, you got time to watch as many shows as Ireland? I do, actually. Really? Yeah, so you I just do. get home and veg out. Just uh, binge well, watch. Well, veg out might be not, not the right not, word. Yeah, have, yeah. Let's just say he doesn't drive anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But And you know what we discovered, Michael? I'm the only one around. I'm not the only one around here who... Uh, imbibes? Who imbibes, yeah. Who else does? Oh, well, uh, at most see. hosts. Travis. Um, Travis does? Travis? Sle- Sliwa? No, not sleep. Yeah, they all say they do. John Ireland? No, I just take I take gummies to sleep. So I, if, if that counts, then no, yeah. But that counts. Always so Cap, and Sinano, Cap and Sinano say both. they like weed. Really? Travis, yeah. Travis says he likes weed. So everybody around is a weed Michael, head. Michael, you and me, let's go get stoned. I've never tried it. I've oh, never you done sh- it. we should do it. I've, off, I've offered it many times, Jorge. Jorge used to get high, too? I've never you done it. Get You've high? never tried it? Never tried it. Never done it. Wow. Yep. What about you, Bergie? Oh, I did for a long time. Mm-hmm. I you haven't smoked in... 20 years, though. The weirdest thing hours. is I never I never <laughs> used cannabis until I was, like, 35 years old. What made you Never start? tried it. What made you start? Uh, that job I had in New York at oh, WNEW. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would drive anybody yeah. to get stoned. Yeah, that's when I started was could in my 30s. stop right now and never do it again? Yeah, I could. You could. Yeah. Try it. No. You so, don't want is that pinnable on YouTube? Is that pinnable? Show, so you can be sober. After the show, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to do my workout. I'm going to go home. I'm going to put on some. I don't think we got any sports tonight. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dodgers, I guess. Uh, and uh, get stoned. What's so, wrong with that? Remember, you guys, I, I said I was doing homework for the Sacramento yes. Kings. Harrison Barnes, who you know, Michael, yeah. claims, and he seems like a pretty stand up guy, so I'm sure it's true. He'd never had a sip of alcohol. Wow. Until the Warriors won the title in 2015. Really, really, that wow. was it. Yeah, never had a. So you've always said that you you like him. You oh, you man. like if you had a daughter, you yep. want him to go out with Harrison. Yeah, he's Barnes. a young man. Do you want your daughter to go with if she's heterosexual? Yeah, well, I mean, well, you got to put that in, Mace, these days. <laughs> you know? Why do we need to put that in? <laughs> because not everybody's uh, hetero. Uh, pronouns are a thing. That's right. I actually, I, I understand. Is it me or are there more gay references on the show? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Last couple know, days. Because yeah. one time I asked a young lady why she wasn't going out with uh, some guy, wasn't asking her out because she's really pretty, and she mm-hmm. says, Well, I'm gay. Well, you never know, Mace. See? See? <laughs> <laughs> You see? I don't you even just know. Never know these days. I don't even know. I, I got another joke for you, Mason. Oh, oh God. God. I can't wait. All right. Priest, Let's go. A priest and a nun are caught in a blizzard. Mm-hmm. They find a deserted cabin and they take shelter and they find a sleeping bag and bed and blankets. Mm-hmm. The priest takes the sleeping bag. The nun takes the bed. Later, the nun says, Father, I'm cold. The priest gives her more blankets and asks her, Is that better? The nun says, Yes, much better. Later, the nun says again, Father, I'm still cold. The priest gives him more blankets. Again. Better, he asks? Yes. Good. That's totally on me. Good. Let's go get some sleep, the priest says. Then again, the priest hears, Father, I'm still cold, says the Mm. nun. By this time, frustrated, the priest says, Look, the only people that will know what happened here tonight are you, me, and God. So let's pretend we're married. The nun says, Okay, let's pretend we're married. Then the priest says, Good. Get your own damn blanket. 
I like that one. <laughs> These <laughs> jokes take so See, long to <gasps> get to the Mason has a dirty mind. He was thinking it was going somewhere else. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, you can lost that Mason be... after. Mason will only read USA Today because they read, they they, they do have charts and graphs. I love that. Own colorful charts. He told us to get your own blanket because you know the protecting the man. I like it. TLDR. See, Carlo, Carlo liked it. Liked it. <laughs> TLDL. Too long, don't listen. Uh, all right. Uh, coming up next for you. Uh, let's see. Let's do this. Uh, the uh, Yahoo has ranked the top 51 animated movies of all time. Animated movies. So I've got one that's uh, that's a clear number one for me. Okay. Do you have one that's a clear number yeah, one for you? Easy. Michael, did you watch animated oh, movies? Yeah, yeah, I got one. Okay, good. Jorge, you've got one, yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll do that uh, coming up next. Then we got uh, some Bobcat coming up for you, so make sure you stay here for that. Hey, imagine you are in an Uber or a Lyft, sitting in the back seat, driving to your destination, and bam, you're injured in a car accident. Not just any car accident, an accident with an Uber or Football fans, want to win 100 bucks for picking five games against the spread? Just download the Cover 5 app for free. Compete with Mason and me each week for a chance to win 100 bucks. Here's what you need to do. Download the Cover 5 app. Use code MI22 to join our show league. And then start having fun all season long. Just download the Cover 5 app. Use code MI22 to join the Mason and Ireland show league. Pick five games against the spread to win 100 bucks, Or play all season long at Cover5.com. Seven Ten ESPN is giving you a chance to win one million dollars. Money, money, all the time. What I'm thinking. Million Dollar Mondays. Million Dollar Mondays. Listen every Monday during football season to Travis and Sliwa, Mason and Ireland, and Sadano and Cap. All you have to do is make a super prediction, and you can win a mill. And you can score tickets to a game at SoFi for just playing on Million Dollar Mondays. Million Dollar Mondays. Seven Ten ESPN. Hey Rams fans, Travis Rogers here. You have got to get the new ESPN LA app. In fact, let's go down to the locker room and get a little help. What's up Rams fans, this is Matthew Stafford. React to the Rams on the new ESPN LA app. This is Cooper Cup of the Los Angeles Rams. Listen to all your Rams talk on the ESPN LA app. You are just one tap away from Rams All Access. Travis and Slee, Mason in Ireland, and Sedano and Cap. Download it now on the App Store or Google Play. You're checking out the YouTube channel because Mason and Ireland will be streaming live. Just check out our YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button. ESPN LA on YouTube. Mason and Ireland video streaming tomorrow live. And you just never know what Mace will do next. Mason and Ireland continues your Wednesday right now. There it is. This is a great record. This is a great jam. This is Jeffrey Osborne. Yeah, this was his big sort of dance thing that he had. Yeah, Michael, did he do the woo-woo song oh, yeah. and have you guys do well, the woo-woo? woo-woo. Exactly. Everybody was doing it. I hit in the back, so I wouldn't have to do it. Pat Riley did it. Magic did it. Byron Scott. Um, a couple of the wives there, they did it. Kurt Rambus got up there. And instead of saying woo-woo-woo, he pointed at Bob McAdoo and says, can you do-do-do? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Good for Kurt. I like Kurt it. A, he's a wild man. All right, so, uh, Michael, you've tried to tell some jokes today. What do you mean tried? I think they've been excellent jokes. Thank you. They've been very long. Oh, get they own. have been long. I will TLDL, give you that. too long, don't listen. So uh, Bergman had a joke. He told me a joke today. I think this is a very funny oh, joke. All right, pressure's on, Greg. Let's it go. Is. All right, so how did the hipster burn his mouth? How? He drank coffee before it was cool. <laughs> oh, that's that's yeah, see? Oh, look, Vince is laughing at that I think that's a great <laughs> joke. Stupid. That's a great joke. <laughs> it's a very funny joke. Yeah, I like I that, one. that one. Greg will set me some today, too. Yeah. 
Let's oh, see. you said Mike I, I said Michael some. sends Michael jokes? Yeah. yeah. Says, uh, he, kid Did you send that. him the one about the nun, the priest, the Irishman, no, the Jew? No, the, that was all was. Michael. <laughs> I don't think there was a Jew in there, but why not? How about this one, Mace? Yeah. Guy got ran over by a rental car. <laughs> okay. Doctor says, how did it feel? He said, it hurts a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. You got to like that one on Mace. That was, I like that one. What did the daddy buffalo say to the baby buffalo? <sighs> I don't know. What? Bye, son. <laughs> Bye, son. Bison. Bye, son. Bison. 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 I'm surprised we haven't heard that at a Thunder game. Yeah, Isn't that's their a good mascot joke. That's a, a bison. Good joke. Yeah. I like that one. See, Greg's jokes are funnier than your jokes well, because they're shorter. Yeah, that's they true. are. They're one. They're one-liners. Um, all right. So, favorite animated film of all time. Yahoo has put out. I a wonder list. if yours and mine is the same. I guarantee you, it's not. Okay. Mine is Finding Nemo. It's a great movie. Is it anywhere so on that list? Uh, it is on the list. It is number eight. Eight? Yep. Number Michael, eight. what's the greatest animated movie it's, of all time? It's, uh, if it's number number one and the list is not valid, it's got to be Toy Story. Toy Story is number... Uh, that is an excellent choice. Yeah. Five. Five? Yep. What could be better than so that? So we have nine and five. What's yours, Mace? Mine is is well down the list, but it's one that I love, is Coco. Coco just makes me cry. Uh, so Jorge, good. greatest animated film of all time is what? I'm going to say oh, A Bug's Life. I love that one. Yeah, you do love A yeah, Bug's, Life. Bug's Life. Bergman, greatest animated film of all time is what? My favorite is The Nightmare Before Christmas. Ooh, that's good. Is that's that, a great, that's, now that's is stop, that, motion. stop motion. That's not animated. It doesn't count? No, it's stop motion. What about The Iron Giant? Oh, oh, Vin the Diesel! Iron, yeah, the Iron Giant is amazing. Have you ever seen is, the, is Iron the Iron Giant? Is the too. Iron Giant, is, uh, Giant as good as Where Ernest is... Scared Stupid? Way better. <laughs> Where, Ernest Where Scared Stupid Shrek is horrifying. But uh, Shrek is number ten. Wow. Uh, there's some of the one they put olden timey uh, commercial or uh, animated films like uh, what was that new Spider Man? Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Mm, okay. Uh, Pinocchio. Creepy. That's so. Cre- I hate creepy. <laughs> so. Why is it creepy? You know, like old puppets? man. He's making a boy for himself. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> there was such <laughs> disdain <laughs> for Geppetto. <laughs> that was like. I think that's the most angst anyone has ever thrown at Geppetto. He's not a son, mate. He's not a partner. Oh, it's so weird. Uh, Beauty and the Beast number five. That's a great one. Yeah. Not as good as Finding Nemo. By the way, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse yeah. is right up there. That's there. That is the best Spider-Man movie there is. Yeah. Do you I agree? agree? I agree. The, yeah, Pixar, absolutely. the Pixar movies need to be ranked higher. I mean, uh, uh, They've got Bambi in there. Walt, They've got Fantasia in there. You ever get stoned to watch Fantasia? I mean, Let me tell oh, you something. Oh, back in the day. Cars, oh. Cars is better than half these things you're mentioning. Uh, WALL-E is good. Up is really good. Up is number 13. Uh, Wally is number fourteen. Yeah, uh, Ratatouille should be in there. Ratatouille is in there. Ratatouille is number fifteen. You ever see yeah. a Goofy movie? That's a great one too. A Goofy movie a is goofy a great. Movie. You call that's yeah, what that's, that's what you. Max, it's so that's good. how yeah, you Max measure Max and Goofy. That's how you measure greatness. Goofy no, oh, movie. Hey, you go watch the Goofy movie. It's a great father and is son. Is that story. Yeah, the Goofy movie? Don't yeah. hold your breath. Yeah, they road go on a road trip. It's fantastic. Powerline. Oh yeah, good stuff. We'll bump back with the music. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> you guys are looking at me like I'm crazy. Very unsure. Yeah. This was, that was a very... Uh, that your a idea of greatness. <laughs> you know, some people, greatness I, would say, you know, I don't know, Jackie Robinson, Bergman's idea, Goofy movie. <laughs> By the way, somebody is going to tweet me like, I love the Goofy movie. Yeah, Watch. that person's Watch. lost. Yeah. You guys yeah, are that uh, well, my story uh, ranks the highest of all the ones we've chosen. Right? Toy Story is number five. Nobody's above that, right? From what are the top? What are the top four? Were were those ones you were mentioning, like Snow White and yeah, Pinocchio, at the, the, the top? Yeah, yeah. The uh, here's the here's the top ten in order. Uh, number one is Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Overrated. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Number two, Pinocchio. Super overrated. You know how I feel about that. One. <laughs> uh, number three, an uh, animated film. Uh, called Spirited Away, which is a great movie. It's by Miyazaki. I haven't seen but it. But it's good. Okay. Uh, it's, it's fancy. Uh, Sleeping Beauty is number four. Oh, please. Uh, Beauty and the Beast is number five. Bambi is number six. Oh, God. Lion King. Oh, Finding Nemo, number seven. Oh, it's seven. Okay. Fantasia, number eight. Ooh, the colors. Light. <laughs> <laughs> so Where's Lion good. King? Uh, number nine is uh, the Toy Story series. Mm. 
the whole series of movies. And number ten is Shrek. I don't see Lion uh, King. Uh, I don't see Lion King. Wow. Yeah, I don't see Lion King. Lion King is number eighteen down the list. Okay. Hey, hey, uh, John, who's Mackenzie Scott? He, she is the widow of Jeff Bezos. The widow? No, widow. Uh, uh, the ex-wife. The ex-wife, yeah. The divorced uh, uh, wife of Jeff Bezos. She's worth $37 billion. She just filed from, for divorce from her new billionaire philanthropist. So No, no, no. The new guy was a teacher. He wasn't a bi- That guy is going to oh. get away with Greg. Well, oh. I'm sure there was Greg. a big prenup. Yeah, I'm Greg. So big. Oh, yeah. oh. Greg. This is why I'm bringing it up. Oh, <laughs> this. You got to move, man. This is. How much is she worth, Michael? $37 billion. Greg, you would take one of that $37 oh, yeah. billion her, and be happy. Is her name Mackenzie Scott? Mackenzie Scott. Wait, yes. that marriage didn't even last a year, I don't think. I mean, it doesn't have to. I'm sure there was a huge oh, yeah. prenup. Was prenup, man. He, he you kidding me? Nothing. He gets nothing. In He's like not getting it. half I, of anything. I, you know what? Prenups are not as common. As you say. I, I remember my, I said to my dad before I got married, "Hey, Dad, should I get a prenup?" And he went. He laughed at me. He goes, "Yeah, go ahead and try." I brought it up to Lisa, and she didn't talk to me but for what if two you were days. Worth a billion? Would he tell you not to? I don't know. Yeah, what would your dad have said? Well, Michael, if you you're a good person to ask. If Clay oh, gets married, he's got you know he's worth two hundred million plus. Mm-hmm. Would you tell him to get a prenup? Oh yes, definitely. You don't have one. Well, I wasn't worth two hundred million, but you're right. That's a good question. If I was worth two hundred million now, knowing Julie the way I know her, know what kind of character she had, I probably would not ask her. There you one. go. Because she seemed really genuine. And, and you and me. you and Julie both have been. Uh, you know, uh, you you've been open about how you really want your boys to find the right girl, yeah. and if they find one that you really like, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't think you would insist on a prenup. Yeah, if, you'd say if, we've been yeah. waiting a long time for you to find a girl like this. Right. Go for it. Yeah, if you found someone the character. What if it was up. somebody who slid into his DMs? Oh. Do you have to bring that up? This is what professional athletes live with, I right? I know. So what? The, my one of my favorite things is. When Mike and I do a game, like we're doing the opener, Golden yeah, State. right. So we'll see what is Steph's wife, Aisha. Aisha, Aisha so right. Aisha will come over and Michael will say, Aisha, get over here. She'll go, oh, hi, Michael, good to see you. I thought you were going to set up Clay with yeah. one of your church going friends. That's right. And she goes, I'm trying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they these guys don't always go for my friends. Yeah. I'm trying though. I'm putting it out there. Oh. You should yeah. see how many tweets I'm getting about Goofy Movie right now. Oh, please. Uh, oh, really? Someone, goofy Movie? Someone really... called it the, they called it the Citizen Kane of ad- animated oh, movies. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the Citizen Kane of animated movies. I, anyone who says that has not seen Citizen Kane. I can tell you that. <laughs> I'm uh, with Trey, you. Goofy Movie is great. Trey G writes this. MT is getting his jokes from the Twitter handle at... Dad say jokes? Yes. Dad says oh, jokes? Is that where you're getting him? Could be. Yeah, could be. Uh, all right, coming up next for you is Bobcat Bergman's going to throw a bunch of stuff at us. Mason and Ireland, 710 ESPN. Seven ten ESPN is giving you a chance to win one million dollars. Money, money all the time. What I'm thinking. Million dollar Mondays. Million dollar Mondays. Listen every Monday during football season to Travis and Sliwa, Mason and Ireland, and Sadano and Cap. All you have to do is make a super prediction, and you can win a mill. And you can score tickets to a game at SoFi for just playing on Million Dollar Mondays. Million Dollar Mondays. Seven ten ESPN. Football fans, want to win 100 bucks for picking five games against the spread? Just download the Cover 5 app for free. Compete with Mason and me each week for a chance to win 100 bucks. Here's what you need to do. Download the Cover 5 app. Use code MI22 to join our show league. And then start having fun all season long. Just download the Cover 5 app. Use code MI22 to join the Mason and Ireland show league. Pick five games against the spread to win 100 bucks, or play all season long at Cover5.com.
That's right. The other one got hacked. So the new one is corporate underscore Greg. Follow now, follow off it. Corporate Greg. But now it is time for that Bobcat. Bobcat. It's time for Bobcat. Bobcat. Bobcat time. Take it away, corporate Greg. Corporate Greg. Anyway, a special sponsor for Bobcat today. It is brought to you by a Goofy movie. <laughs> yeah. Which is there one of the best movies of all time. <laughs> from Disney. All time. In the Mason, Ireland all Mafia. Yeah. Greg, Greg says best movie of all all time. Yeah. I said one of the best, though. And just because you haven't seen it doesn't make it a great movie. Reason it's right. a wonderful you, 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 father-son movie. Okay, mm-hmm. and you do believe, honestly, like if we put you on a lie detector, yes. that Ernest Scared Stupid is the scariest movie you've ever seen. I said when I was eight years old, it was the scariest movie I'd ever yeah. seen, yes. All right, what do you got for Bobcat? <laughs> you don't have to believe me. I <laughs> do. We don't. <laughs> Fine. Uh, oh, hey, hey, Greg. The only Sanch tweets us. These old dudes, Mason and Ireland, don't know Jack. Goofy movie is elite. That's right. Bergman is right. Yep. And since he showed up that uh, Scott Cap, oh, I can't read that part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only Sanch likes to, to did you stir some the, pot. Did, did you see the stuff I didn't read? No, no, I haven't seen yeah, it. You'll thank me it. later. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's move on. LeBron wants to be an owner of a team in Vegas when he retires. This, uh, this is already known. He also just recently bought into AC Milan on a minority stake. Well, his ownership of teams is not ending. He now wants to own... A pickleball team. Yes. He is going in with Draymond Green and Kevin Love on a team in MLP, which is the Major League Pickleball. Smart investment. Is this a smart investment? And if you could own any type... I can't read my own writing. And if you could own a team in any sport, what would you own? Oh, I don't own an NFL team. They're like printing money. Any of of the 32 NFL teams. You know, you get a check at the beginning of your season from the the TV revenue that covers all... Of your expenses. Pays for every salary, player, non-player, everybody. So everything else from ticket sales to concessions to local TV rights for your right. preseason games to merchandise sales goes right in your pocket. Yep. Give, me, give me an NFL team. Dude, which one? Yeah, thank you. Pitch Cowboys. Up. Cowboys. Cowboys. Yeah, they're the You're one. not even a Cowboys fan. I know, but they're worth $8 billion. <laughs> They are worth a lot. Uh, so the pickleball thing is interesting. Yeah, is that a smart investment? You know what? I pickleball is that just a game that people play for fun, or is it a yeah. game people play like a blood sport? No, I've been playing it. It's it's mostly it's like tennis without moving as much. I don't I don't have anybody to play pickle. I, I want to play pickleball. Yeah, come on over. I go to the Le- uh, Lisa plays all the, the time. Lisa Ireland Tennis Club. Yeah, just call She'll her. She'll teach her. me some pickleball. Yep. Tell her to I put use you one the... of her five tennis coaches? Yeah, exactly. All right, good. Yeah, good. and get me some info. <laughs> well, I'll, get some, <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll do some reconnaissance Thank work for you. you. Michael, what do you, you get to own anything, any sports team, who do you want? Oh, definitely an NBA team because uh, the, the new TV contract they're going to sign, they're just going to be printing money like the NFL teams. And but you I can't have the Lakers. Jeannie won't give them up. No, she won't so give who, the Lakers, who would you so take? Which team would I buy? And like, yes, Lakeup's not going to sell me the world. How about the Knicks? You could fix the Knicks. I would buy. I, I don't know if I could buy the team, but I would want to buy into the Miami Heat. Miami I love Heat, Miami. Yeah. It's close oh, to the Bahamas. Yeah, close yeah, Bahamas. That, that would be good. Mickey would... Harrison, you could have free cruises That's for right. the rest of your I'd life. I'd buy the Rams because I get SoFi Stadium in the deal. Oh. Stan Kroenke owns SoFi oh, Stadium, point. so I get that. Just oh, I get like Jerry World. You get Jerry World, oh, exactly. Wow. Yeah, that's cool. part of the deal. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I would own. Bergman, what about you? Yeah, I mean, I would probably own a baseball team. You call because, Mark Walter and say, what's up, dude? Yeah, just let me go in there. I mean, they got tons of money. They do have tons of money. <laughs> Jorge you have to. Chivas, right? Nah, no. Real Madrid. Well, Jorge, if you got Man, one of those EPL teams, you'd probably get get the best deal of all oh, of us. Yeah. They're all like, Manchester United is probably the, like worth more than any of these which, teams. Right. Which EPL team do you root for? Uh, the Man U. Yeah, Manchester just United. Man U. Doesn't everybody about. just root for Man U? Isn't that like no. A, no. No, no. Chelsea, Chelsea. A lot of people root for Chelsea. A lot of people root yeah. for Man City. The Queen was uh, Queen's favorite team was Arsenal. Arsenal, yeah. which is owned by Arsenal. Stan Kroenke. That's right. Yeah, there's there's a lot of EPL teams that other than Manchester United right now is down. They're Are not they? very, they're not very good. Bad. Yeah. yeah. Um. So you would probably take. What a, about Tottenham? They're better. Yeah. But they're, Everton. Yeah, all those. I don't. Is Everton still in the EPL? Yeah, or did they get yeah, they did, did get they relegated. get relegated? Yeah, they're just yeah, not that good. The Toffees. They call them the Toffees. Oh. Everton. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, Bergman. Bobcat. All right, so did you know that New England Patriot backup quarterback Brian Hoyer's real name is Axel Edward Brian Hoyer? Why doesn't he go with Axel? That's my yeah. question. Axel is a much better name than Brian. His dad's name is also Axel. But why wouldn't you lean into this Axel name? He would be very, very popular if he was going by Axel. Yep. Nobody goes by Axel. That's a great first and he, name. And he opted for Brian over Axel? <laughs> yeah. 
That's that's a. It's like being a Brian Kamenitsky. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Axel Kamenitsky would be much. Oh, much cooler. cooler yeah. yeah. Well, that's like Michael and I have a friend named Bettina. Uh huh. And she has two. She uh, has two boys, and the boys' names are Ziggy and Zayden. Z a y d e n. I love those names. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like John, Steve, the Michael, boys, Jet, and Talon. Yeah, I mean, that's, Jet and Talon are great names. Yeah. Trudell's kids. Yeah. yeah, the traditional names like we all have are kind of blah blah, blah blah. Nobody's going to be a John anymore. Nobody's going to be a Steve anymore. Those names are gone. I, you know what is a good first name is Mason. I know a couple people with kids named Mason. And I think that's a great first name. I like uh, to, one I, of the one of the Kardashian kids is named Mason. I th- I'd like to think it was because of me. So if you have a son, you're going to name him Mason. I would name oh Mason Mason. Yeah. There you go. Mason Mason. <laughs> Mason, Mason. Well, I didn't like George that. Foreman name multiple kids his, George? George, yeah. Multiple yeah. George yeah. So when he yells George, who comes downstairs? Well, all of them? Everybody. Well, yeah. Well, their name's George first, second, so he probably goes three, five. <laughs> right. You know, or I, numbers. The numbers, yeah. Michael has, your son Michael has the same name as you. How yeah. did you come up with Clay and Trace? Are they Clay. named after people? Yeah, Trace was named by Wanda Cooper, Michael Cooper's ex-wife. Uh, Trace, he was the third son, and Trace. And oh yeah, Clay. Trey. Trey. Yeah. yeah, and Clay was uh, named by Julie. And uh, is is what, did she have someone named Clay in her life, or did she know. just like the name? She just liked the name with a K. And then my grandson's name has got a strong name, Roman. Roman, I like. So when I was operating ninety three Q W R Q N in Toledo, I named all the DJs. Okay. So I came up with the names. We had a DJ that I, <laughs> so I assigned the names. Right. right. Your name on the air is going to be. Bobby Brady. We had a DJ named Bobby Brady. Well, you <laughs> you should get credit for A. Martinez. And A. Martinez, another one, yeah. I mean, you know, you can, if you could pick your name, what would you pick? I actually like your dog's name, your new dog's name. Murphy. Murphy's a great first name. Um, yeah, I don't know what I would pick. John Ireland's a good name. People think I made, this, like, it's a stage name. It's not. Steve Mason is a stage name. It is a stage name, yeah. Um, but it's... Yeah, I I don't th- Axel is Axel yeah right Axel, Axel is a great so tell me if any of you guys would have done this mm-hmm. when Mark Cuban bought the Mavericks mm-hmm. he offered you know he was trying to drum up interest it was a Cowboys town and so he was new on the scene he said I will give any first one who does it it's a one time offer whoever grabs it first gets it fifty thousand dollars if you change your on air name. If you're a sports radio host, mm-hmm. to Dallas Maverick, and nobody took him up on it. Well, he didn't talk to me. Uh, <laughs> because yeah. Would you have done it for 50 grand? I would have done it. But you have, you have to go with it. That's yeah. your new name for now till the end of time. You know, like, Call me Dallas. And I would go just by Dallas. You change your name. Yeah, or, or hey, you know. $50,000? I know that's not a lot of money no. in your world. No, Mace, world, you, know we could, you know what we could call you? What? DM. Slip into DM. your DMs. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah, but nobody did it. Nope. Bergman. Bobcat. All right, Jorge. Okay, so we all remember a teacher for whatever reason, right? Yes. She helped us out or whatever. Well, mm-hmm. these kids are never going to forget these teacher. And let me just listen to this. Yeah. So here, so if you want to pull out your journeys book. Okay. We're watching her. She says, this is Zoom. <laughs> she farted in class. Oh, she farted in class. <laughs> oh, and she's like. And, she's well, and the kid goes, Who's what? The kid goes, I think she farted. <laughs> 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 they they love it. it. Oh, God. <laughs> <She's>... <laughs> and the kids all know it, too. That's that was awesome. A big one. <laughs> it was a big one. <laughs> <laughs> the they all, they can't stop laughing. Sir, here, so if you... What is the most embarrassing thing you remember from one of your teachers? Oh. Or something that you did on a Zoom call or a meeting or anything like that. The most embarrassing that's happened to you. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Let's say on a Zoom call. Mason shirtless school. in that meeting he had with uh, uh, oh, the. Oh, Kevin Dem- 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 being so awkward. By the way, Kev does not care. Uh, Kev's like, cool with me. Um, that's what he said. And that's not what he said. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> yeah. Mason once showed up for a Zoom shirtless in bed yep. with Kevin Dem off of the Rams. Kev. Um, what do I remember about something embarrassing to you? This isn't really embarrassing, but it was weird. I was in high school. Yep. And we all knew the principal mm-hmm. at my high school at the time. And my parents were going to Vegas, and they said, hey, you want to go to Vegas? Yeah. And we, I said, sure. You know, I didn't do anything. I was 17 years old. And my brother and I were walking down, like, 
the strip. Right. And here comes our principal holding hands with a girl who's not his wife. Oh. Ooh. And I thought, huh. Could have been his niece. I And he saw me coming, and I yeah. sat, and I just walked up to him, and I said hello. And I kept, well, it was not, definitely not his niece. Oh. And I kept walking, and I went, huh. I went, did he get divorced? I don't think so. Yeah. You know, so that was a weird moment. Um, I remember <laughs> seeing my, t- I did not like this teacher, Mr. Roshan. Uh, he was my sixth grade teacher, my homeroom teacher. And actually, I find this to be really sad. So we go to the grocery store late at night. There's Mr. Roshan stocking shelves. So he, had a, he was moonlighting. He was moonlighting, for, for, had a second so. job. Sad when a teacher has to have a second job. Um, I broke my, I, I guess this is kind of right. I uh, was in uh, my high school production of Fiddler on the Roof. I broke my if leg. If I were a rich and, man. And my teacher said, Get back out there! You've got another number. So I did, did you? I did. I absolutely oh went out there with Jack the Youngblood yeah. playing with a broken leg. Yeah. Yep, I played uh, Perchick. Remember Perchick? Yeah, yeah, that was me. What are you laughing about, Jorge? Oh, we have our own show back here, you know. Oh, okay, good, <laughs> good to know. What's next, Bergman? It's uh, time to break. Break. Yeah. Break. All right. Break. Break time. When we come back. Um, Jorge, did you put the Pusha T song yes, in? Yes, yes it's in. Okay, so there's kind of a rule in marketing in companies that you don't mention your competitors. Correct. Let's just say Arby's is going the other way. Oh, yeah. And we'll share that with you coming up. Mason and Ireland, 710 ESPN. Attention sports. 710 ESPN is giving you a chance to win $1 million. Money, money, all the time, what I'm Million Dollar Mondays. Million Dollar Mondays. Listen every Monday during football season to Travis and Sliwa, Mason and Ireland, and Sedano and Cap. All you have to do is make a super prediction. And you can win a mill. And you can score tickets to a game at SoFi for just playing on Million Dollar Mondays. Million Dollar Mondays. 710 ESPN. Football fans, want to win 100 bucks for picking five games against the spread? Just download the Cover 5 app for free. Compete with me and Cappy on Sedano and Cap each week for a chance to win 100 bucks. Here's what you need to do. Just download the Cover 5 app, use the code SK22 to join our show league, and start having fun all season long. Just download the Cover 5 app, use the code SK22 to join the Sedano and Cap Show League. So pick five games against the spread to win 100 bucks. It's really that simple. Or play all season long at Cover5.com. Shot. Again, at least it was on Maybe this show. Maybe not this show. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're having a great Wednesday. So if you missed yesterday, one Steve Mason took to video and danced and grinded. Is it grinded or ground? Well, he grinded. And he grinded hard. If you have missed the video, be sure to go to our Twitter page, our YouTube page, our Instagram to see Mace on the loose yesterday in the studio. We'll get a full report on exactly what was going on. Also, Johnny I is here. John Ireland, my bestie. Does he know that he struck a nerve with George Sedano yesterday? Plus, my favorite day because Michael Thompson's here. Yeah. Let's get to it. Fun frivolity. Sports. A little bit of sports. Mason and Ireland, your Wednesday afternoon right now.
that, uh, ah, three o'clock right. Yeah, Michael, yesterday. Ah. I've just decided, you know, I was gone for a week with COVID, then I had to do the show from home for a week. Mm -hmm. I came back this week, and I'm like, what the hell? I'm just going to let it rip. Right. So yesterday, you've seen Morales do his pony dance, right? No. You, know, you don't know the pony well, dance? Well, that's Michael wasn't at the Mandy's. Oh, right. Uh, uh, he does the pony dance. Oh, here um, he is. Chris, oh, good. Chris, Chris Morales is here. Maybe he could demonstrate. Michael yeah, Thompson's number one fan. Uh, uh, all right, now the pony music is playing, Mace. You gonna <laughs> you gonna give it to him, Michael? All right, now Chris Morales is here. Oh, Hi, Chris. Right. We're continuing this from yesterday. Am I yeah. Up? yeah. Well, yeah, you just we just played your intro, which mentioned it. Oh, okay. I was in a two-hour meeting, and all I saw were tweets. First, I, I want to start here. Yes. Yeah. That Michael Thompson guaranteed you're going to be a Mandy's too. Yes. As long as it's uh, within a 15, 20-minute drive. It won't I be. Drive no, no. Wait, if it was in the same place as last year? No. Where we did it? a side check at a new place today. Where, where are you going to go? It's going to be close to here. Within about 10 minutes from here, probably. Oh, within 10 yeah, minutes. That's, that's an hour and a half from You drive here every Wednesday. Yeah, what so, do you mean? You can't so the bit that I was going to do when I came in was yeah. I was going to say, you can stay home. It looks like I don't even have to say that because he's going to stay home. Well, well, I told him, Chris, that you he will never get on your good side unless he attends the I didn't Mandy's. say you're on my bad side. Yeah. No, you. I, no, I said it. I will yeah. send a fancy I like car Michael. to pick he, you up. Michael used to be great in the old morning show days. He was friendly. Mm -hmm. He would say, good morning, Chris. Tell me I lose. I lost weight. Yeah. That, really? You don't, that's not applicable these days. Well, you look good. You still <laughs> yeah. look good, though. I don't know, but Chris. Then all of a sudden there you're was thick. a turn. Women with like thick. They do like thick. You know, <laughs> or men like thick sometimes, too. <laughs> I don't discriminate, honestly. Well, yes. God, you saw God bless you. But recently, uh -huh. the last year or so, it seems like you're not the Michael that I loved once upon a what time. Do you, mean? you don't want to be here. You come in and do this show yeah. only. You don't do the other shows. You don't want to come to events. We well, love you. The listeners love you. Yeah. Yeah. So I had to become the anti hero here yeah. and come against you. Mm -hmm. uh, to Michael, try to convince you. Michael, respond. To come in. Yeah. Reaction. Well, this is, the, this is what Ireland's been waiting for. This. 10 minutes from here, you mean like 10 minutes south from here, the next Mandy Awards? Where? <laughs> Ten minutes south from here is I can't get into too like much. Hermosa Beach or something. No, like that. no, yeah, no. We're not naming Here's towns. The thing, it's Michael. not name that city. Michael, if they send a car no, I like to, to pick myself. you up, I like to drive. Myself. Okay, okay. See, I have to send Keisha on a car. Well, yeah, of course, he's, he's, he's big elitist. He's yeah, big but he time. shows up though. Yeah, yeah. he shows he's up there. He and goes actually, to all of our and stuff. actually, the West Covina softball game. He drove himself yeah. all the way from Calabasas on a Friday afternoon. To us in West Covina. It's a long way. I'll be there for the next Mandy Awards. I felt like mm -hmm. I missed out. You Can, did miss will out. You it come was, on it was stage. fantastic. No, I ain't coming on stage. I'm sitting up You're not coming well, on stage. Well, but if you win, you got to go on stage to accept uh, your and award. And then you know what will happen when you win an award? What? This music will start playing, Jorge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then maybe. Oh, <laughs> right like next it. to you, Michael. Oh, put up. Yeah. yeah. We'll Here we go. Grinding. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then I'll get no, real wait. close to you, Chris. Oh, oh, Chris, you had you, Michael. He said he was going. Oh, You're gonna talk him out of it now. Oh, I need a shower. <laughs> Oh, now, did you see? Did he see the video of you doing it? I don't it? know. That uh, video, I think we've, here's what we've tried to delete all of it. But here's what Mace did yesterday. I'm going to try to replicate what you did yesterday. Okay. Oh, well, you, go ahead, play. Okay. Instead of really grinding, he just grabbed the mic with two hands and was grinding the mic Whoa. and making this face like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, and White Man Overbite, yeah. too. Yes, and yeah. then... I like it's, by the way, the po I always thought the pony was like some it, some gift that uh, Chris Morales was born with that no one else could do. Apparently, it's, anybody can do. It's the not pony a tough dance. formula. Yeah, but it's more funny when a larger, huskier boy of my size, my carriage, I, as I, Travis would say. Ireland, are you about to say you're husky? Ireland says I'm husky. Okay. Yeah, he's he's bigger than he wants to be. So, Michael, mm. no, are, I'll, I'll you're guaranteeing. Yeah. In appearance. You? In the 2023 Mandy yeah. Awards. Uh, Mace, on one I, condition. I ain't going up on stage. I'm but sitting what if my you table win an award? I'm sitting champagne. If you win an award. I'll let Sliwa accept it for Here's what will happen, Michael. You will see. And you'll get to see Sliwa's it's other a, half in person. It is a ball. It brings the doll with it. A thousand people, Michael. <laughs> a thousand on. people who love the station. Right. You will go up there and you will say the things that get the big applause and get the reaction. It's infectious. Everybody goes you up and You are assuming I'm going to win something. Well, uh, no, of no, course, actually, you did win. I think, because people know about the bit that I've done that I don't like you, yeah. that I think out of the gate you come up. And? And open up the Mandy's. Oh, oh I like it. Oh. Open it up. Like welcome. Hi, welcome, everybody. And you welcome tell, Michael, and you tell a joke. Oh, a, a dad joke? <laughs> a dad oh, joke. God. To a open the Mandy's. So sure. I'm going to take you, what you said today, Yeah. 
That's why I'm in here because oh. I saw these tweets come in tagging me that you guarantee you'll be at well, I'll be two. there, but I ain't doing nothing when I get there. You're coming on stage with no, me. We're going to do the pony. Michael, you'll just be there. You'll I'll wind up on stage. No, I'll, I'll be fine at the table. You'll sit wind up my, on stage. I came so sit, sit Should we shake hands on it that you're going to be there? Oh, no, I don't shake hands. No? No, it's fist bump. We well, I just grind it on your back. I know, so yeah. I think that's a guarantee. Do you think you could do that pony dance, uh, Michael? Yeah, because black people can do that. Oh, is that that's a racial thing? Yeah, we got better rhythm. You know that. I've got great rhythm. Well, we got better rhythm than you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Michael, I you look s- forward to seeing you. You've seen you. Soul Train. Soul Train or American Bandstand, which one had the better dances? Oh, Soul Train. There Soul you go. Train. See? Yeah, for sure. I rest Soul my train. case. Yeah. I look forward to seeing you, Amanda. I'll be there. Okay. I ain't doing nothing. Oh. See, sipping. he always got to put a spin on it. He always does. He always I'm sipping wine, what? and that's it. Can I just ask, what you were, you were here yesterday. I was not. I, I didn't hear this. Uh, but apparently, George Sedano lost his no, mind yesterday. I'm not yesterday. getting into this. Why? I, I already got screwed at George, yes. Not, when do we not get into things? The whole point Ireland of the show is found, to get into things. Ireland found his elevator button. That's all I'll say. What did he do? I, I don't think it's a big I deal. Know. I know. Clinton well, Yates knows. I now have a lunch with Sliwa I got to get to. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. Three o'clock lunch with Sliwa. Wow. This is like his makeup birthday gift for him. Two, two dirty martinis? Oh, I'm going at least three. Three. All right. I don't I, have to drive home. So. I've been there. I'll take an Uber. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bye, right. boys. Thank all you very much, Christopher Morales. Jeez, the, 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 what, was that guy, what was that dance again? The, the pony. The pony? Yikes. That, that's a dead pony. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to have Chris promise he won't do the pony to Michael to get him to go to the Can you Mandy. believe that there's video of me doing that? No, I got to see that. That's Where horrifying, is it? isn't it? I know. Yeah. Juan was like so pissed off. I got home last night. He always <laughs> monitors the social media during the day. Yeah. He's like, what the heck are you doing? What, what are you doing? You're 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 embarrassing yourself. I'm like the whole show embarrassing. I, me I was going to say, wait, that's been our act for 20 years. Yeah, exactly. I mean, embarrassing ourselves comes with I the got, job. I got video of Stu Lance, the Laker legend, dancing, and his wife Linda says Stu never dances, but he got so caught up in the Jeffrey Osborne music that he yep. got up and danced, and I f- filmed it, and I told uh, Mark Shaw, the, the producer, so every yeah. time the Lakers win, they should show that footage of Stu uh, dancing. Stu will put the kibosh on that. <laughs> yeah. He would kill. Oh, Mark is scared of Stu. Oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah, so he won't. Mark. Mark. Dude, Mark Wait, Stu, is it okay if I play this? Right, he won't. Yeah. He won't do anything without Stu's permission. Lights up the cigar after, the, after every Laker win. We should do that. Yeah, worthy. If, now, if you have video worthy, he would let us play any yeah, of it. Right. He's got to, you know, worthy. Let you do anything. So you said you had something. Yeah. All right. So in business, kind of an unwritten rule is never mention your competitors. Yes. All right. Like, kind of do your own thing. Arby's, the roast beef place, the fast food place, is taking a different. Tact. So they hired Pusha T, the rapper, to do a diss track of the McDonald's McRib sandwich. In other words, Arby's is coming after the McRib. They've got their own rib sandwich. Rib sandwich right. That they went, and so they started talking at Arby's like, what would get people to try it? And they said, well, everybody tries the McRib when it's available. We need to attack the McRib. So they hired Pusha T to do a diss track. Uh, here it is. Tell me what you think. They call me when it's time to do damage. When the quality ain't up to my standards. That McRib falls below average. Replaced by the country style Arby's rib sandwich. Ooh, straight out the smokehouse. Texas my old route. Eight hours to slow cook. Keep push for the rollout. The boss with the smoky Q sauce. The real country style McRib get lost. Yeah. McRib get lost. Compared to that replica rib patty. I'm screaming how dare you. You know that I'm war ready. Arby's taking taste to the next level. Arby's is the choice when you won't settle. McDonald's, what you selling? Mystery me. Pop up and go away. What does history teach? Mickey D's, McRib. You ain't it in the streets. The real country style rib sandwich here to eat. Look, straight out the smokehouse. Country style Arby's rib sandwich. What you know about? We coming straight out the smokehouse. McRib, you just look like a clown. And I have no doubt. This is a paid advertisement by Arby's. What do you think, Mace? I, you know what? I think Pusha T is onto something. Attack your competitor. So here's the official rule, okay? On this, if you are winning, right? In anything, never don't punch your down. But if you are behind, yeah, you can punch as much as you want and see if they'll take the and bait. See if they'll take the bait. And by the way, the McRib sandwich. Have you ever seen how they make a McRib sandwich? It's like this hunk, well, hunk of congealed meat. Pusha T called it mystery meat. It is mystery yeah. meat. 
And Horace it's the same loves way they to make, make hot dogs. Sandwich. It's the same way they make hot dogs. What's in the hot dogs? It's gross. Have you it's looked the at the videos thing. that I yes, sent you? They're gross. But it doesn't change they're totally anything. gross. They're still good. I can eat Take two or that, three. put it on bread, and you're eating it. <laughs> yeah. What are you thinking, man? It's like eating mince meat, right? Uh, like a like a uh, what do you call that um, brisket? It is like brisket. Yeah. So it's nothing wrong with that. No, but that's not what McDonald's uses. Oh, stop. No, McDonald's uses like congealed something. Jorge, right what did there. you think of that song? It's pretty good. I, I thought so uh, yeah, too. It's pretty good. Bergman, don't you like the McRib? Yeah, I'm, I'm with Jorge. Disgusting. It's, it's tasty. Nah. I like Absolute. It. Once you watch the TikTok video about the making of the McRib, you will never eat another McRib. Yeah, I, I believe that, everything on TikTok. Does that yeah, song, too. Jorge, make you want to try the Arby's rib sandwich? Nope, never been there anyway. You've never been to Arby's? Uh-uh. Arby's is gross. Oh, Arby's is good. Yeah, when when there. Mason and I used to work, like we've we've worked. At All like over town. Ten different geographic locations. Yep. And at one point, we were on La Cienega um, when we worked at, in, at the same it, building it, as KBC. Correct. And directly across the street was an Arby's. So back then, I used to go to Arby's a lot, but I haven't been in a long time because there isn't an Arby's near me. Yeah, but I, I think Arby's is good. I don't know where an Arby's is anymore. I don't think anyone's close yeah, to me. I haven't me. seen one for a while. You know what I don't have close to me is a Wendy's. I, don't have a, I, I love Wendy's, and apparently their new fries are really good. Mm-hmm. I only know one Wendy's, and it's off the 405 near the airport. Yeah. And that's the only one. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a hard one to find. Yeah. Um, all right, so coming up. Now, Michael, this is, this is the difference between you and me. Mm-hmm. One of many. One of many. Um, I'm sober, sober, but you're not. I love... (laughs) That's one. You're not always sober. I love uh, love meeting people who listen to the station. I I like it, too. What do you mean? But I go out of my way to do it. Yeah. So we're doing a special dinner. Me, uh, Jorge, and Bergman Mm -hmm. are taking 10 Mason and Ireland listeners to dinner at... Islands, which is like one of my favorites. The yeah. cheese fries are fantastic, yeah. dipped in the ranch dressing. Yeah. Oh, good God, food. So good. Great food. Yeah. So at 3.30, you got a chance to win with the stupid game. I think you were here the last time we yeah, did this. Right. It's Island or Made Up Island. Mm-hmm. It's one of those right, two things. I love that. That's fun. So we'll do that coming up, because that's kind of your yep, geography. Your thing. You know your geography. Yes, I do. Yeah. All right. Uh, coming up next for you, uh, Elon Musk is creating an army of robots. I oh. told you. I told you this was coming, and you said, no, nothing to worry about. We're all going to be attacked by robots. I will explain that story because it makes perfect sense. Plus, Michael, I want you to take us through what happened in space yesterday. I know you know about it, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. So I Are you talking you about to, the Jupiter thing? Yeah, I, no, no, not the Jupiter thing. No, the, the asteroid, asteroid thing. Yeah, yeah I, so I want to go through that. Do you okay. know the asteroid I story? Don't. Oh, it's unbelievable. Right. Uh, that's coming up for you. Mason, Ireland, 710 ESPN. 710 ESPN is giving you a chance to win one million dollars. Money, money, all the time. What I'm thinking. Million dollar Mondays. Million dollar Mondays. Listen every Monday during football season to Travis and Sliwa, Mason and Ireland, and Sadano and Cap. All you have to do is make a super prediction. And you can win a mill. And you can score tickets to a game at SoFi for just playing on Million Dollar Mondays. Million Dollar Mondays. 710 ESPN. Football fans, want to win 100 bucks for picking five games against the spread? Just download the Cover 5 app for free. Compete with me and Cappy on Sedano and Cap each week for a chance to win 100 bucks. Here's what you need to do. Just download the Cover 5 app, use the code SK22 to join our show league, and start having fun all season long. Just download the Cover 5 app, use the code SK22 to join the Sedano and Cap Show League. So pick five games against the spread to win 100 bucks. It's really that simple. Or play all season long at Cover5.com.
Hi, this is Matthew Stafford of your Los Angeles Rams. This is Mason and Ireland on your home of Rams football, 710 ESPN. If we listen to What is this? This is the song from Goofy Movie. Uh, oh, please. <laughs> oh, it's a great the Goofy song. Movie just thing. I just, I just showed Michael it. the picture, uh, Bergman. Oh, no, no, that, no, don't ruin eye to eye. That um, you, you sent us all of Jupiter the other day saying, hey, look what's outside. And Jorge took Maite <laughs> outside to look for it. And it was a, it, it, you superimposed a picture of Jupiter into the sky. Just into the are sky. You still, uh, are you and Maite still looking for yeah, it already? Yeah, we're still looking for it. She's like, where's the star, babe? I mean, Daddy. <laughs> Oh, hey, did you really think Jupiter lo- would look like that in the yeah, sky? Yeah, like I saw the picture and I ran to my window. I opened it and oh, I was like, oh, Craig, you're lying. You, what's the app? <laughs> <laughs> How many moons does the Earth have, Jorge? Uh, one. Oh, okay, just checking. Yeah. yeah, to the best of our knowledge. Yeah. So you were appalled that none of us cared about Saturn. Yeah. I, or well, Jupiter. Jupiter the other day. I heard you guys talking about how Jupiter was closest to the Earth. As Planet, getting, man. And, it, and can't see years. it. Yeah, and you don't care. Just a star. I've seen the North Star. I don't need any. I know Orion's belt. I don't need to know where... Jupiter is. Yeah, like, like Lisa wants to go to the Aurora's Borealis. Oh, no, no, that's actually yeah, What is cool. it called? The North, that's the Northern, Lights. the Northern Lights. Yeah, I'm like, well, like we oh, no, watch, that's actually pretty I told cool. her, like, we can watch it on TV. What, you know, <laughs> no, 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 you need to see that in person. <laughs> no, have, have you, you seen, seen it in no, person? No, I want to. That is on my bucket list. I have but to see it. But don't you have to go point. to Scandinavia or something? I think you have to go to Sweden. No, you can, you can go to Iceland to see it. You can go to Alaska to see it. That's a long ass Iceland. Iceland's supposed to be a great place to go. Iceland's supposed to be it's really supposed to be cool. It reminds me of the time I went to the Sistine Chapel. Everybody said, you got to go, got to go. So I waited for like hours, and I get in there, I looked at it, I go, i got to watch this on TV. You weren't impressed? No. I Let me out. Le- Michael. What? Can you believe he was not impressed by the Sistine Chapel? I was blown away by the Sistine I was in there. We were packed in there like sardines, Michael, and I was only there for five minutes, and they said, get out. So you were like Art Griswold when he saw the Grand Canyon. You went, eh. Yeah. That's basically what he was. Ireland. Yeah. Unimpressed. That painting on the ceiling, you weren't impressed. No, I, then I went and looked at a poster, and it was the same thing. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. When was it painted, Michael? Do you know? When was it painted? Yeah, when was it painted? I'm guessing the 1400s. The 1400s. My, John. I'm guessing. Is that, painted is in that, the 1400s, is that it, and you're not impressed. Is that when yeah. it was painted? I wasn't I'm unimpressed. Sure. I was just not blown away by it, and I thought it was more of a hassle to get to. Hey, you've seen it, right? I haven't seen it in person. I'd love to. All right, well, but get, yeah, prepared, person, get prepared to walk in and so like you're in a can of sardines yeah. and take four it hours to look for five minutes. It is so impressive. By 1500s. 1500s. Okay. 1473. 1470. Can you believe Michelangelo that? Michelangelo painted it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was Ireland. some of his best work. Uh, yeah. So if you saw the Great Pyramids, you'd just go, eh. I think I'd be more impressed with the pyramids. The pyramids are crazy. I, I went Sistine to see Chapel's the- just a painting. Have you been to the pyramids, Michael? No, I want to see those. Too. Oh, my God. It's unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, you You've can't. Been there? Yeah, I have. Wow. Uh, when I went on my uh, African journey back mm-hmm. in 2000, my starting point was Cairo. I was just blown was that, away. Was that your Eat, Pray, Love tour? <laughs> that was yeah. my Eat, Pray, Love tour. <laughs> It, Michael, it is so much more impressive when you see it in person than when you see it in pictures. Yeah, the pyramids, I think, would blow me away. And the Sphinx yeah. uh, is crazy. It's like perfectly sculpted. I mean, that's just an amazing yeah. trip. I wouldn't. I don't think I'd go to Egypt All right, so today. So what happened in space that you wanted Michael to yeah. explain? Okay, so yesterday in space, we pulled off a major, major trick, Michael. Explain it. I know you know this. Well, there's an asteroid. There are asteroids flying all around uh, our planet, and uh, sometimes one gets a little close. They, they call it a near, near Earth, near Earth uh, something object. Anyway. Okay. So, so anyway, there's an asteroid close to Earth. Asteroids. Yeah. yeah. Asteroids are the biggest threat to humanity um, because some of these asteroids are so big that if they collided with Earth, it would be an extinction right. level event. Sure. Meaning it would wipe out all humanity. Uh, so to protect Earth from Earth, protect us from uh, these asteroids, at NASA and other scientists are trying to figure out ways to protect us from an, an object that's going to, on, on course, to collide with Earth. So they're coming up with different ways, send rockets, send atomic bombs, send lasers, anything to deflect it off course if we can discover it soon enough. Sometimes these asteroids come in and we don't see them until it's too late. Some of them are car size, some are bus size, some of them are the size of a football. And But by the time we see them, it's too late. We can't do anything about it. But the ones that uh, – there's an asteroid I did not call Apophis. Mm-hmm. That's probably the size of, say, Manhattan. 
And if it hits, really, yeah, and if it hits the earth, that means we're do- we're done. We're for. done. We're doomed. And so to prote- they think that some that's the one main one that could uh, eventually hit Earth in the coming years, not in our lifetime, but hundreds of years down the road for future mankind. And so they're coming up with a way trying to deflect these asteroids right, from coming I'm towards done, us. I'm done with the story. <laughs> <laughs> you asked him to tell. So it. We sent a, we sent a, sent a, sent a missile rocket. to an asteroid, missile, rocket, and right. and we landed it. And landed on there to blow it up, yep. or to explode next to it and just move it a little bit in its orbit, so it can miss Earth by the time it gets close enough. Yeah, <laughs> I, I didn't realize Isaac Asimov was here explaining exactly what happens in asteroids. That's a long. So it's like your joke. Why would you be not fascinated with astronomy? And you look at the universe and how this thing is. Oh, look, I believe it. Look, the universe blows me away. Yeah. I mean, it blows me away that there are billions of stars yeah. in this universe and there are billions of universes yeah. with billions of stars. It is amazing Carl when you Sagan said even it, think about it. Carl Sagan said, it, to put it in perspective, it's crazy to understand. He says there are more stars in the universe than there are grains of sand on the earth. How is that even possible? That's crazy. Wow. Oh, there's more ants. Remember me? Oh, ants. Yeah, there's more ants. <laughs> then there are stars. Stars. <laughs> <laughs> stars? Yeah, there are, what was it, like 11 trillion? 20 billion? 20? 20 trillion? 20,000 trillion. 20,000 trillion ants. Billions. Really? 20,000 trillion ants. How did they count that? I, I don't know. Yeah, I, don't I think know. somebody's science. making no, something up. Census. You know, science. It's a census. It's a census. census. <laughs> somebody, yeah. went, somebody went door to door. Exactly. <laughs> I'm trying door to find door. a way to get to Mackenzie uh, Scott. Yeah, find out a net worth. Well, you? what? forget you getting to her. We need Bergman well, that's to what, get I'm to her. I'm trying to get to her on behalf of Bergman. Now, she's 52. Are you okay with that, Bergman? <laughs> Craig, you... I mean, for $37 billion? Yeah. Sure. And, and she's attractive. Uh, this is your girl. All She's right. probably giving up on love. She's had two <laughs> failed marriages, no. Craig. You are the man who can turn her around. 30, oh, I, love I it. was wrong, uh, Beck Berg, but not thirty-seven billion, only thirty-four billion. Oh, that's it. I'm out. Yeah, yeah. Those extra three billion, and it made all the difference. Hey, hey Greg, yes. if she mentions the word prenup in any way, you have a three-word response. You know what it is? What is it? No. Pablo Inglés. No. <laughs> yeah. Bergman, if you dated her and you guys went out for years, why would you think you are entitled to her money? Even if you married her. Because why not? <laughs> well, you're not entitled <laughs> Good to answer, it, Greg. See, look at Laura Roma Good behind answer. you. Laura, Laura Roma doesn't. Roma's she like, says she no. Doesn't entitled to not. money is what she's saying. She says no. Laura, yeah. you wouldn't. You wouldn't uh, expect to get her money if you were married her, right? No. See, yeah, Laura, yes, no, 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 Laura you'd be okay with a prenup. Say yeah, yes. you call That's we, a lie. If, if we, you don't bring nothing into the marriage, uh, uh, Bergman, why do you deserve anything? Yes, right, like, I am bringing. I'm what? bringing me. Uh, <laughs> I understand why Mackenzie Scott got all the money from Bezos because she was with him while he, he was building the company. Right. So started. she is supported him and d- yes. did whatever. And so you children. will have done nothing. So I will go right up to her when we when we talk and we go on our first date. I'll say, look, I'm in this for the money. Mm-hmm. Oh, correct. and if she says, well, if this goes any further, I need you to sign a prenup. You say, I say, no, no. Hablo inglés. <laughs> right. no, like, I don't know if my wife, deal. Michael asked that question earlier. If I had a billion dollars when I met Lisa, right. would she agree to a prenup? I think she would. She would understand she would. you trying to protect yourself. Nah, I don't think she would. Greg, call her. She won't answer her function. Weirdly, I, weirdly, I would but never ask her. Call her and see if she does. We'll just I, ask her I was fast. young, dumb, and in love, You man. wouldn't ask? No. If you were worth a billion dollars and Julio and you were going to get married, you wouldn't ask him to sign a prenup? I, I think that's uh, generally a sign of uh, no trust. Well, pe- people change, Mace. Relationships can change. People get v- vindictive. They get petty, like you. If I met one today, I would still not. Well, I guess, no, I, we're not married, so there's no prenup. But if you were getting married, you were worth a billion, would you ask him to sign a prenup? No, no, because I believe in love. I believe love does conquer all. And if you split up, do I you believe think love would... is in the air. And if you split up, would he ask for <laughs> half a billion dollars? I believe love will keep <laughs> Together. <laughs> I like it, man. You're optimistic. You're an optimist. Love is great, and everyone gets married for love. Yeah. No one. Jorge, would you uh, ask your wife for a peanut if you're worth a billion? <laughs> okay, hold on. Oh, Lisa's here. We we got we oh. found we found Lisa Ireland. Hi, hi, Lisa. Hi. All right. Question. Hi. Question. What, what are you guys talking about? All you. right, Michael Mace and your character. And and okay, here's the question. If okay, if when we met. I had a billion dollars. Would you agree to sign a prenup? Yeah, yeah. I think if you had a billion dollars, that's fair. When you had a yellow barbecue and one great barbecue, yeah, 
that is not appropriate to talk about a prenup. I brought up a prenup so, once, and Lisa stopped talking to me for two days. Did she really? Did he really bring up a prenup? No, I just actually, I think I first kind of laughed a little bit. Yeah, I believe it. And then, because at that time we had neither, nobody had any money. Right. This is a silly conversation. Yeah. So Lisa, but I'm if glad. you come to me with the, yeah, that's I, fair. I'm glad you're here. I want to ask you something. Yeah, so, uh, Greg Bergman, uh, your uh, your husband, is trying to corrupt him. Uh, I'm not. He says that uh, oh. Greg Bergman should marry only for money and not for love. I what think, say you? Lisa, I think he should find an heiress. I think he should find what? someone he's in love with. Um, and, and here's the thing. Yes. Greg, no. Greg was already married. He married for love the first time. I think now he needs to think about financial security. He has a young daughter. He should go. Stop it. Hey, Lisa. Lisa, exactly. This is what I'm saying, Lisa. No. I find it so Stop it. Lisa, outrageous. I think he That's should make terrible. a run at Mackenzie Scott, who announced today that she's getting divorced. Does Lisa know who she is? Well, I mean, if you could pull that, then I say go for it. Screw <laughs> <laughs> love if you can get her. There you go. There you go. Hey, Lisa, I, I need somebody to play pickleball with. Oh, let's do it. Okay. I've never played. I, everybody's playing, Lisa, playing Lisa, it. Lisa's pretty good. Every No, I'm not very good at pickleball. I'm, no. Am I'm I allowed to come tennis, to your but... rich person tennis club and play pickleball? My glorified YMCA, you are more than welcome. <laughs> Excellent. Um, Let's set a pickleball date. Okay, I would like to do this. This would be fun. Let's. I would like to get Michael there as well. Oh, good do luck. You have any, Michael's on my team. Do you have any uh, friends who are around 30 to 32 years of age? 30? Oh, for one of the boys? Yeah. Um, I do, but they are currently married. Ah. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> problematic. Well, Can we break them up? We'll because Michael's getting a little desperate. <laughs> yeah. All right. They all seem to be doing that well on their own, all so right. we right. can just wait it out. Well, keep your see, eyes open. Yeah. Keep your eyes open. Okay, okay I will. Uh, Lisa, I'm dead serious. I want to come play pickleball with you. I'm in. Okay, she'll do, she'll do cool. it. I'll, I'll, drop you, it I'll drop you a text. We'll do it. All right, Lisa, okay, so I, I love you even though we don't have a prenup. Thanks. I love you, too. All right. All right. Very nice. Very What's wrong nice. with protecting yourself if you uh, ask the lady or the lady asked the guy to, to sign one? Yeah, but you could tell, like, when she said she claimed we had no money. I had a little money. Not no yeah, money. Oh, you, had, money. you had Beaumont money. Yeah. You had Monroe, Louisiana money. But I blew all, <laughs> I blew all that money in San Diego before I met <laughs> there her. There you go. All yeah. right, uh, Kona, oh, right now, right now, we're giving Open away. Open the phones, Bergman. You love the phones. A chance for you to join me and Jorge and Bergman for a dinner at Islands. We're going to do that in a couple of weeks. We want to hang out, have some, uh, some cheese fries dipped in the ranch dressing and all that stuff at Islands. So if you want to join us for dinner, 877 710 ESPN 877-710 ESPN got a simple little game you got to play and you've got both John Ireland and Michael Thompson as lifelines we will do that coming up next Mason and Ireland 710 ESPN hey football fans want to win 100 bucks for picking five games against the spread just download the cover five app for free compete with me and Cappy on Sedano and Cap each week for a chance to win 100 bucks here's what you need to do just download the cover five app Use the code SK22 to join our show league and start having fun all season long. Just download the Cover 5 app. Use the code SK22 to join the Sedano and Cap show league. So pick five games against the spread to win 100 bucks. It's really that simple. Or play all season long at Cover5.com.
710 ESPN is giving you a chance to win one million dollars. Money, money all the time. What I'm thinking. Million Dollar Mondays. Million Dollar Mondays. Listen every Monday during football season to Travis and Sliwa, Mason and Ireland, and Sedano and Cap. All you have to do is make a super prediction. And you can win a mill. And you can score tickets to a game at SoFi for just playing on Million Dollar Mondays. Million Dollar Mondays. 710 ESPN. In Ireland on 710 ESPN. Don't get it twisted, yo. The most downloaded sports radio show in Los Angeles. The podcast, that is. Mason in Ireland, the number one most downloaded sports podcast in Los Angeles. The number one most downloaded sports podcast in Los Angeles. And we thank all of our podcast listeners for that. If you ever miss a moment, get your fill anytime. Just search Mason in Ireland wherever you get your podcast. Ireland 710 ESPN. Michael Thompson hanging out today, and we are giving away dinner right now. Dinner for two to join me, Jorge, and Bergman at Islands for a great uh, meal coming up uh, in uh, what? Uh, in it's going to be Thursday, right? October 13th. I believe that's the date. The 13th, oh, yes. I Thursday, October 13th. Oh, <laughs> I have plans. Is, wait a minute. Is there a Laker game that night? I don't think so. I can look at it. Okay. I mean, I'll, I'll look at the. Why? You might come to dinner? Here. I there do, is which no one, Laker game that Which night. one are you going to? Howard Hughes. I might make a surprise appearance. Oh, I, nice. I got to figure out. I, I've got to check the whole. It's, it, so it's on the 12th they play versus Minnesota at home. Then they go to Sacramento on the 14th. Uh, on so Friday. you're probably So we fly on the 13th. Day. What day are you doing it? The 13th. 13th. Yeah, yeah, I'll be yeah, on a plane. Day, yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, start with caller number seven, John. I have got a list of islands. Some of them are real. Some of them I totally made up. You've got to get all seven in a row to win, uh, and uh, you can use John Ireland and Michael Thompson. And Michael grew up on an island, so he's somewhat of an expert yeah. here. All right, uh, how many of them are there? A seven. All right, here we go. Richard in Thousand Oaks. Hey, Richard, you there? I'm here. All okay. right, here we go. Just, there... just is it a real island, or did Mason make it and up? Feel free to rely on Michael and John, okay? I'm in trouble. Number... All right, no, 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 here we go. You, We can help you. Number one, Santorini. Island. Correct. Number two, Spittle. Not an island. Correct. Oh, he's not going for help. He's going for more himself. Number three, Capri. Island. Yes. Three for three. Keep it up, Richard. Number four, Kosamui. Wait a minute. How do you spell that? K O S A M U I. Kosamui. I need some help. Um, Michael, do you know Kosamui? That doesn't sound like that's going to be somewhere in Indonesia, but I don't think I, that's an island. I do think it's an island. I, I, I'm pretty, matter of fact, Richard, I'm pretty sure that it is. I see. The way he reeled off the spelling, I'm going to say, yes, John, island. It is an island. Boom. I've been there. It's in Thailand. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, number five, Crimini. Is there an island called Crimini? Feel Not free Crimea, to... Crimini? Crimini. Crimea, Crimea isn't an island anyway. Yeah, Crimea is a land. Right, right, I, right, right. So, what what do you think, Richard? Uh, John, what do you think? I think it is. 
I think it. I, I think Crimini is actually an island, Richard. I would. I would go for it. Island, it is. Not a real island. <laughs> That's Not. what the crocodile hunter used to say. Wait a minute, is there a real island? <laughs> Criminy is, an is an oh. island in the Hongus province. Okay, uh, you you Richard, it. you're still alive. <laughs> still here. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Criminy is an island. I was just making it up like Criminy. Criminy. Yeah. Close, yeah. Enough. Close enough. Close, Close enough. enough. All right. How, what, is this the last one? No, two more. Okay. Number six, Glastonbury. Glastonbury. Is that an island or did I make it up? That's an island. No, nope, that's where you lost. Ah, too bad. Good that's try, Richard. Lost, Good Richard. try. Yeah, Glastonbury is a park, right, in England, I think. Yeah, exactly. The Stones used to play. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, next up, Tony in Huntington Beach. Hey, Tony, were you listening? I was listening. All right, so you should do well here. Here we go. Number one, Santorini. That is an island. Yes. Spittle. That is not an island. Correct. Capri. That is an island. Yes. Kosamui. I uh, forget that one. Um, you can ask for help. Oh, oh, yeah, you can ask for help. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's an island. That's an island. Yeah, you're right. It is an Louis. island. Uh, number five, Criminy. Or Criminy. Or Criminy. Well, of course. We, that's an island for sure. Yeah, that's an, uh, that is for an sure. island. I found out. Yeah. Uh, Glastonbury. Yeah, you, guys, you had doubts about that one. All right, so Glastonbury. Ah, that's just a stick. That's a street name. That's just discreet. It's not an island. Go apart. You're right. right I here totally we go. made that up. This is, for, this is for the whole thing. The last one. And I've been to this island. I got. Uh, I partied on this island. Oh, I just gave it away. Well, give it, the, <laughs> give, well, give it to okay, him. I'll give it to anyway. you. Okay, uh, Corfu. It's an island. It's an island. Yes, yeah, it boom. Is. Way to go, yeah, Tony. Dope. All right. All right. Tony, congratulations, man. You're going to hang out, out with us at Islands for uh, for dinner. Uh, you and a guest with me, Corporate Greg and Jorge. Uh, we'll have a great time, okay? Yeah, good. I'll, t- I'll tell you what we should do with the Lakers. Okay. Oh, excellent. Good. All right, hang what? on. We'll get you. You'll. We'll see you at dinner. Oh, okay. <laughs> Literally. Well, I can bring him back. Can no, we bring yeah. him back? Yeah, bring him back. I want to hear what he had to say. Hey, hey, Tony. What are we going to do? Tony. Yeah. What yeah, do you well, want to? What do you want to do? What do you think yeah. the Lakers should do? We should have traded LeBron and uh, Westbrook for AD and somebody else. Okay. Wait, well, we already listen. have AD. Yeah. KD. We'll invite you to dinner no, despite no, no, that no, take. No, no, no. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Gracias, Tony. All the wings yeah. All the wings of love. Tony, um, come on. By the way, no better place to get a great burger and fries with an ice cold beer on top than Islands. Uh, it is uh, dinner with me, Corporate Greg, and Jorge. Islands for locations and directions. Visit Islands Restaurants. Com. That is John Ireland's son's favorite restaurant. Sure is. Eats there on a regular basis. All right, coming up next, Michael, do you want to give us a hint about what Game of Games is about? In honor of Jorge and Pepe, who will be here with us today, today's Game of Games is about Latinos and Latina legends. Okay. Oh, well, we got our we got our work cut got out for us, Mace. These yeah, are so Latinos and Latinas everybody's heard of. Yep. Okay. Pepe will join us next, and we'll do Game of Games. Mace in Ireland, 710 ESPN. Golfers, now at Roger Dunn Golf Shops, it's time to hit faster, longer, and straighter with Titleist, the new TSR driver.
ESPN. And it is time for Game of Games on the number one sports radio show in L.A., Mason and Ireland. Game, Game of, of Games. Games. Game of Games presented by CallJacob.com. Call Jacob. Everyone loves a fighter, but in this town, winning matters, especially after an accident. So remember, anyone can fight, but CallJacob.com is here for you when you need a big win. After an accident, go to CallJacob.com or call 844-24-JACOB. That's 844-24-JACOB. We got the jingle. Call Jacob. Thank you. Game of Games time. Take it away, Mace. All right, here we go. Game of Games time. It is Michael Thompson's game today, and we welcome to the program the amazing Pepe Mantia. Pepe, how you doing, man? Hi, how you doing, guys? We're good, Pepe. Are you ready for Monday? You getting ready for the new season? Yeah, of course I'm ready. All right. I'm always ready. Excellent. Okay, Michael, what do we got today? In honor of Jorge and Pepe, today's game of See. games about Latinos and Latinas, where you must answer in Jeopardy form. Oh, uh, so, okay. it's je- so it has to be who is... Yeah, right. Name is your buzzer? The name is your buzzer. Okay. So Pepe and Jorge, you guys better win this one. All right, here Buzzing we go. Buzzing with your name. Here we go. <laughs> this famous Latina is better known by her initials. Greg. Ireland. Ireland. J-Lo. No. Greg. No, Greg. No. no. Who is uh, his, J-Lo? His answer, no. his oh, answer I, was, oh, no. Okay. And I didn't put it in the form, <laughs> of, a in the form yeah. of a question. All right, keep reading, Michael. Clues? Yeah, yeah. This I cut him off. Famous Latina is better known by her initials. That's all you've got? That's it. Three, two, two, two one. one. Who is AOC? Oh, okay. we never would have gotten that <laughs> I in got a million years. I would have got it you eventually. you got to give us a better hint than that. This famous Latina is Al Bundy's Mason. other. Mason. Jorge. Pepe. 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 Mason. Mason's up first. Have, okay, Mason doesn't have, have, have it. Jorge was Jorge second. Was second. Who is Sofia Vergara? Yes. Ah, yes. Ah, very good, Jorge. He. I can't miss that one. He was the first heavyweight champion of Mexico. Jorge. Jorge. Oh, heavyweight? Uh, who is um, three... Two. Andy the Destroyer. Right? Uh, three, two, and uh, heavyweight champion of Mexican, Mexican descent. Mexican descent. Heavyweight. Not a heavy. Yeah. Three, Sorry. two, one. Who is Andy Pepe, Ruiz? Pepe. Andy, Andy said, Ruiz. The destroyer. He Andy said the destroyer. destroyer. Yeah, Ruiz. you didn't say Ruiz. You need, hey, you got to get the I, Spanish surname, you the, dope. That's right. All right, here we go. Uh, That's a nickname. Jorge is the lead. Here I we say go. give it to him. Yeah. This great no. baseball player was killed in a plane crash in Ireland. Who is Pepe, Roberto Pepe. Clemente? That's right, Clemente. Oh. All right, I got one. This multiple-time batting champion was born in Mason. Panama. Mason. Pepe. 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 No, wait a minute. No, no, Mason got it first. Mason. Three. I will Pepe. try, Miguel. Pepe. Pepe. Uh, not Pepe. in the form Pepe. of a question. Pepe. Pepe. Who is Rod Carew? Yes. Oh, very Carew? good, Pepe. All right, right now the score is Jorge one, Ireland one, Pepe one. Here we go. All right, here we go. This... Can't read his own writing. Yeah, he's going to read your own writing. <laughs> this former player of Mexican descent is not related to Laura. Go Ireland. Ahead. Ireland. Greg. Who did you pick, Michael? You, Ireland. Uh, who is Tony Romo? Yes. Greg. Oh. Uh, okay. Would you have accepted Sergio Romo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would have worked. That worked. That's what I was, yeah. was going to go yeah. Sergio Romo. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. This Latino conducts himself like a dictator during Mason. Okay, Mason. Ah. Uh, that is Pepe Mentira. Greg, 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 I was second. I was second. I was second. Oh, great. Who oh, no. is Pepe Mantilla? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Pepe, you got to get that one. Who got that one? Who got that one? Ireland. Oh, Ireland. Got it. Pepe, I do not believe you act like a dictator. I believe you are honoring those fans that uh, that listen to you all the time. <laughs> I know, I know that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right. Uh, I know I know that you believe that, but right. I know what I'm doing. This, yes. This, exactly. This famous Latino was neighbors with Fred and Ethel. Ireland. Ireland. Who is Ricky Ricardo. Yes. This Latino wore number 34 for the Dodgers. Okay. Pepe. I mean, Jorge. Okay. Who is Fernando Valenzuela. All right. All right. Ireland four, Jorge two, Pepe one. This Latino was once the biggest drug lord in the world. Ireland. 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 Oh, who oh, is Pablo Jorge. Escobar. All right. He only hears Ireland. He only it's okay, hears for Ireland. Ireland. This Latina became the first to own a major sports team. Mason. Okay. Mason. Uh, this Three, Pepe. No, don't two, Pepe. one. Pepe. Pepe. Jorge was Pepe. next. Pepe. Um, uh, who is um, Arturo? Two, uh, one. Ireland. Jorge. Ireland. Yeah. Who is Artie Moreno? Yes. 
Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'll take the loss on these, but oh, you you had one time where you said I was second in, so you got it, Ireland. And then Jorge was second I, in. You really didn't go to you didn't like go to Jorge. This I'm complaining, like complaining for him. You can take me uh, minus, minus a thousand. One. Minus I don't a care. thousand! <laughs> Change. Your rules are changing. Minus a they shouldn't be changing. That oh, is that's the ridiculous. Biggest, that is the that's biggest ridiculous. penalty of all time. Oh, Put oh, me oh, minus so a thousand. So what's the score now? Ireland six, Jorge two, and Pepe one. This and, and Greg and minus, minus a thousand. thousand. <laughs> this Latino is considered to be the greatest Mexican boxer. Jorge. 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 Who is Julio Cesar Chavez? Yes. Pepe. All right. Jorge <laughs> got it. Here we go. This Latino is best known as Cinnamon. Jorge. Jorge. Who is Saul Canelo Alvarez? Yes. Wow. Mm. Okay, so Jorge's up to four, and I have six. So yes. Jorge's oh. catching me. This Latino holds the record for second most home runs. Hit Ireland. Ireland. Who? Two. Mason. One. Is Mason. Who no, is Sammy Sosa? Jorge was second to squeeze Pepe. in. You okay. can't change the rules. Hey, minus 2,000. <laughs> That's Jorge. fine. You're, You're changing the rules. You're Jorge, which, second, which second Latino has the second most? So? Uh, no, I thought Pepe, Pepe was Pepe. second. Pepe. Go ahead, Pepe. Pepe. Who is it? Who is uh, Pujols? No. <laughs> Jorge. Finish the question, please. This Latino holds the se- record for second on? most home runs hit by a Latino. Who is Vladimir Guerrero? No. Hey. Mason. 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 Who is Sammy Sosa? No. <laughs> All right. And Bergman's Wait, out. He's Sosa's minus two thousand. All right. Who is it? I'm not guessing anything. A-Rod. Oh, he's right. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah, he's right. right. He's this right. Latino is best known for his emphatic goal calls I, from Ireland. Who is Andres Cantor? Yes. Oh, good one. This Latino got his nickname from his Olympic success. Mm. From his Olympic success. Ireland. Ireland. Who is Mark Spitz? He's, he's, he's Jewish. No, he's Jewish. <laughs> no, I know he had some weird background. That's yeah, right. Jewish. Right. Jewish. Somebody else. Okay. <laughs> Who is Oscar de la Hoya? Yes, the golden oh, boy. Oh, the golden, golden boy. boy. Okay. This Latina is considered to be the greatest softball player in the Ireland. Mason. Who is Lisa Fernandez? No. Ireland. Ireland. No. Who is Jessica Mendoza? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this Minus 10,000. This is ridiculous. You're changing your own rules. <laughs> Minus 3,000. <laughs> this Latino once spat on an umpire. Mason. Ireland. Mason. Uh, that who is uh, Roberto, Roberto Alomar? Yes, Mesa on the board. How about three more? This Latino's hand was blessed by Ireland. God. Okay. Ireland. Who is Diego Maradona? Yes. <laughs> Two more. That this, the, so hard because... the Dodgers messed up when they traded this Latino <laughs> pitcher. Ireland. Ireland. Who is Martinez? <laughs> yes. Pedro Martinez. This Latino. What are you trying to say with an accent? I am. This Pedro, Latino drove Pedro people. Martinez. Pedro Martinez. This Latino drove people crazy on the field when he was just being himself. Jorge. Jorge. Who is Yasiel Puig? No. <laughs> that's, that's a good, a good answer. answer. That's, that's the answer. right answer. Very yeah. good Who answer. Is, uh, this Pepe. Game sucks. Pepe. 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 Uh, Manny Ra- Who is Manny Ramirez? Yes. Oh, very Manny good. Ramirez. My last wow. one. What's the score? Ten. I have ten. Jorge has five. This, Nobody Latino, else this Latino introduced the Euro step to the NBA. Ireland. Ireland. Who is Manu Ginobili? Pepe. Yes. yes. Okay. Manu Ginobili. Uh, right. That's it. Wow. I uh, believe Tino in, was quiet the whole time. Uh, Pepe Mantilla. <laughs> 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 All right, final score. Ireland 11, Briones 5, Pepe 2, Mace 1, and Bergman <laughs> minus 3,000. Minus Changing 3, the rules of a game that you made the rules to. Wow. I, I had nothing to do with the rules. It was Michael's game. Yeah, Pepe, I thought you'd no, kill this you, game. The, the whole point was that if – oh, you're like, I buzzed in second. I buzzed I in second, like so to, I got to get it. I would like it. to defend Pepe for a minute. Right, okay. For so about what? I, I think the buzz-in games, name is your buzzer games, are really hard for somebody on the phone. So I think, Michael, you your they games, they your game should be multiple choice or true or false. Or well, something wait a like second that. now. Still a great game. Wait a second. I feel like Steve Bergman Bergman sends us a great game. Yeah. Worst game ever. I agree. I agree with you. I agree with you. Okay. It's really hard because but you we... know by the time you say your name. But anyways, yeah. I'm not complaining. Okay. Hey, oh! Oh! oh, minus one for Pepe next week. Oh, Pepe. Uh, all right, Pepe. We'll see. Pepe, we'll see you on Monday. That's right, Pepe. For yeah. sure. I'll have my game for on sure, Monday. Um, Thank Multiple you. And, hey, hey, uh, hey, 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 Pepe. Let's see, let's see what happens next Wednesday, okay? Monday, Monday, Monday. No, yeah, because next, no, Wednesday. Next, next oh. Wednesday we're all going to be in Vegas. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, we can do it. We can play, but it'll be hard because yeah. everybody will be on remote. I'll be on Monday. Cause we've got the yeah, because oh, yeah. Michael right. won't be here next Wednesday. He'll oh, be in okay. Vegas got with it. me. Got it. Hey, Pepe, okay. looking forward to seeing you at uh, Crypto.com Arena saluting the fans. 
Of course, for sure. El Thank you very much. Yes, we will <laughs> wave to you from the perch. Pepe Castro. <laughs> Thanks, Ms. Pepe. Marcos. Oh <laughs> Amelda Marcos of the Lakers. I really do believe Pepe's doing the right thing and you guys are doing the wrong thing. You think so? Yeah. What you I think think well, you know, now, Michael, as, as, I, as a tribute to Pepe, Michael and I, when they mentioned us, turn and we Pepe. wave to Pepe. Yeah. Oh, is that what you do? Yeah. But don't you think he's being a narcissist? No. Look at me, look at me. No, it's not a well, being a Wait, you asked that of Mason? <laughs> no. That's exactly what Mason would be. People, no, people know you guys, and when they put you on the board, right. you should acknowledge the fans that are cheering for you. Does it matter mm -hmm. that no one has ever, in the history of Pepe doing this, waved back at him? <laughs> I'm sure they've seen him. I'm sure. If I'm one, if you could show me one person who's ever waved back at you know, him, I'll drop it. You know, I'm going to get to a game this year. And you're going to wave and back I'm going to salute back to <laughs> Pepe. I'm going to wave okay. back. You'll, you'll be the one. I will be the one <laughs> from my man Pepe. Uh, by the way, Game of Games brought to you by uh, calljacob.com. Uh, winning matters. That's why after an accident, you got to go to calljacob.com or call 844-24-JACOB. That's 844-24-JACOB. So do you feel like now you and Morales have buried the hatchet and yeah. you're on good well, terms I, if, now? If he shows up at Mandy's too. I'll go. I'll go. I'm like if Russell he doesn't Westbrook. show up, do you, don't you think, aren't you convinced, Mace, that Morales will lord it over him forever? Oh, God, yeah. yeah. And by the way, people aren't believing what you're saying, Michael. About uh, Paul in the Mason and Ireland Mafia, after hearing Champagne Nuts promise he would be at Mandy's 2, do you think he will actually show up? Yeah, I will. What is, I'll, what's, I'll the, what's the voting so far? 64% say no. No? And 35% actually, say yes. I actually vote yes. I think yeah, Michael I'll will be up. there. Just don't expect me to do nothing. I'm just gonna, but I'll be there. Now, Michael, you got to shake a lot of hands and take a lot no, of no, pictures. No, no. no it's like we do the bow. The bow, the art. Yeah, the Curb Your Enthusiasm bow. Yeah. Like like bow. Yeah. Yes. Now, you're back to fist bumping, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll fist bump. That's about it. No more what if hands. somebody goes to you open hand oh, to shake hands? People still do that. Yeah, oh, I, so it's, awkward. it's an instinct of mine that yeah. I immediately go to the handshake. Yeah. Do you shake their hands back? <sighs> yeah, but then I go directly to the Perel. And yeah, Mace, big this, is, this is how we alleviate the whole problem, hit it, Jorge. Speak English? Yes, I am fluent, yes. Oh, I noticed that when you apologized to this man... You, you gave him a rather deep bow, almost 90 degrees. Yes. Yeah. I, I spilled ice cream, so I'm yeah. very sorry. So I uh -huh. apologize to him. Yes. Yes. Now, the other night, a Japanese fellow apologized to me. Yes. But he only went down a, a few degrees, kind of like that. Like that? Yeah. Oh, oh, that is not apology to you. No, he was not sorry at all. He wasn't sorry? No, no. He a uh, little... Uh, Dismissive of you. Dismissive? Yes. Yes. I got a dismissive bow? Yes. I need to beat a bow. 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 I got. I got bow. No bow would be better than that bow. No bow better. <laughs> no bow better. <laughs> yep. Michael and I will do our, our two men with a mission. Bring him back, bring bow. back bring, the bow. Bring back I got bow. I got bow. The first person who comes up to bow to Michael at right. Staples Center gets an on-air shout-out. Exactly. Oh, I was going to say, don't give him a prize. Yeah, I'm not allowed to. I got a bow. All right. Uh, Michael, we'll see you on Monday at Michael, the game. thank you. Are you guys kicking me out? Yeah, no, we'll no, you can stay if you, you can want. You can stay. Hang on. <laughs> Clinton, <laughs> Clinton and Cappy are coming in. Well, we're going to do a little super cross talk right now. ESPN AM 710 Los Angeles. KRDC AM 1110 Pasadena, Los Angeles. K256CX 99.1 FM Pasadena, Los Angeles. It's the greatest segment in L.A. sports radio history. Radio history. Oh, my God. When the shows come together for magic on the radio. If Bologna grows stronger. Super Cross Talk. Are we ready for Sedano and Cap to join Mason in Ireland? Super Cross Talk begins. Super Cross Talk. Presented by Coors Light. Coors Light. Made to chill. It's time for Super Cross talk. There he is. All right, now, I, I'm, I'm anxious to talk to Cap today because Cap, yes. And by the way, Clinton Yates Clinton is Yates. here. I, I, I have a no sports in cross talk policy, not answering any sports oh, questions. Right. Okay, not you're, you're really playing the role of not, George Sedano. will be doing Clinton doing Yates. I have an actual question for you, Mason, that okay. relates to things that you care about. All right. All right. Cappy, what's and up? I have something I need to talk to Michael Thompson about. Keep okay. going. All right, but let me get my question to Cap in first because I'm very jealous, Cap, that you got to go to the Taylor Hawkins tribute concert oh, last yeah. night. How was it? John, I'm telling you right now, um, I don't know that you'll 
when I say you, I, I don't know that I'll ever be able to go to another concert of that magnitude where from 7 p.m. and I didn't get there till about 8 till about 1 in the morning. It was nonstop action. Mm. A who's who of rock and roll heroes. Yep. It was truly incredible. See, if you if you could only pull one thing out and show a 30 second clip of the highlight of the night for you, what was it? Um, probably Pink performing with the Foo Fighters. Oh wow! Yeah. Did oh, you did you see the list of people that showed up? No. For this thing? What did they? What Alan, did Pink do? Alanis Morissette. Oh God. Was where, it, you where know, was this? this? Uh, forum. Oh God. Nice. Did and now, Cap, fantastic. did you come up? You were in studio yesterday. Did you come up specifically to go to the tribute concert? Yeah, so I, I took a train up yesterday because uh, Rubber Rachel and a group of people that we were invited to go with, um, they took a party bus up. So I took the train. I don't know if you guys noticed. I had no backpack, no no uh, laptop, right? No headphones. You can't bring it into the form. Yeah, I, I just I literally had my phone with me yesterday. Mm-hmm. That's all I had. And then as soon as the uh, radio show was over, Lindsay Baseball gave me a ride and then uh, got me as close as she could. I got on foot and uh, kind of old school Dr. Bus style went in through the forum club. <laughs> really? <laughs> Dr. Bus style? Yeah. That's yeah. right. Mm. A girl on each arm? Well, not that part. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. And oh, by the way, I think today is actually Lindsay's birthday. That's so yes, happy, happy birthday, happy birthday to, to Lindsay. Thanks. Um, uh, oh, there's Lindsay. There's Lindsay. Uh, happy birthday, Lindsay. Uh, by the way, also you. in studio with us from the uh, the Handsome Guy Club is... Uh, handsome Clinton Man Yates. Club. The handsome handsome man Guy Club. Can I say the local chapter? Please. You guys haven't seen me in a while. It unless, has been a while. Unless you've you had your been? televisions on, because hello, I might have won a television program today. So here's my question. Yes. Where I live, there are multiple dispensaries. Beautiful. Within a reasonable, uh, we'll just say within I know, a, I know a couple exactly baseball throws. I know the neighborhood where you live. Yeah. There is one that is nearly directly across the street from my building. Okay. For the last six months, they've been building something, mm. and I was under the assumption that it was going to simply be an expansion of said dispensary. Sure. Turns out there's completely new signage, a totally different building, and I'm wondering, are we going to have some sort of like back-to-back, side-by-side? It's like having an In-N-Out next to a McDonald's. So, there are two uh, dispensaries? Like they are, they are, it's they, a super dispensary? They, yeah, there, are, there is a current one there, yep. and the building attached, literally next door, completely different branding, clearly a cannabis wow. operation. And I'm not really sure what to think, because how, do, how does that work? Is that something you've ever encountered before? Uh, let's see. I'll tell you where I encountered it. Okay. Was in Amsterdam. Sure. All right. So <laughs> jurisdiction's a little different there. There is not a hash bar that exists where there's not a fast food place next door. Like Smart. Right. the McDonald's next to the hash bar is doing huge. You business. would it's like think. The, it's yeah. like the Girl yeah. Scouts who sell Girl Scout exactly. cookies outside of exactly. it. Exactly. Hey, but I mean they are everywhere. You know, once to be last night. Well, you know, everybody, this is just everybody now. It's so weird though. It's, I'm like, they're right so next to each other. Am I gonna walk in and have to walk up and have to pick? Between each, this is going to be just very awkward. This is a very oddball situation for me. Hey, yeah, Cap. But I think it's going to be good for you, though, Clinton, because if they're right next door to each other and they've pretty much got the same stuff, you know, somebody's going to have to give you incentive to go into their store. Yeah, I think it's time to go the Kaplan route and start buying some stock. You know, know what I'm saying? And just make sure. Does Kaplan owns stock? I don't know, but he seems like the kind of guy that's invested in, in, in stuff weed? that his kids no, likes and so forth. Stock? Yeah. You, you, know, you know, Mace, I've tried to get you involved in a couple of cannabis operations. No, you, know, you never <laughs> did. You've always said you would, and then you've never followed up. Yeah, I'm a bad follower. You're now. terrible. I'm as intrigued in this. I'm as intrigued in this as just as a resident of the neighborhood as I am anything else. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. I'm like, how are we? Bu- what, what's happening here? I don't get that. It's like a Vons next to another grocery store. Like right. it's very odd. Yeah. So I'm, I'm I'm all discombobulated in my hood, <laughs> Cap. That's yeah. what's going on. Yeah. Uh, Cap, what was your question for Michael? Michael Thompson. Um, I had a really interesting conversation just the other day with a close friend of mine who happened to be on your Magic Johnson trip to Hawaii. Nice. And um, he just could not stop raving about this incredible trip. Uh, Brad Holland, who was the second first-round choice the year that Magic was the first-round choice for the Lakers. Mm -hmm. And what was so cool about talking to him, I wonder if your experience was like this, he was like just the – he kind of didn't have to, like, introduce himself, but he was surprised how many people – in the group, knew him, knew his coaching career, knew so much about his life. But, Michael, I know we've kind of have been you know, just talking to you about this for a while. Brad could not stop raving about this trip you guys just had. Yeah, yeah, it was a 
beyond first class. Pat Riley and Magic Johnson put it together. They organized it. Anything that Magic Johnson or Pat Riley touches, you know, it's going to be first class Clinton Yates. So uh, some guys said, you know, would get up and speak and say, well, I didn't expect this. But uh, when I was told about this potent- this reunion, I expected exactly what we got. Just <laughs> beyond top class, beyond first class. And uh, it, I don't know. We want to do this again pretty soon in the Bahamas. I don't know how we're going to top it, but I'm going to try have my government do it even better. And I think it will be better in the Bahamas than it was in Maui because, number one, we have casinos right I was going to say, as somebody who's oh, been to yeah. the Bahamas yeah. for sporting events, uh, ah, yeah. please invite your boy. Yeah, we got a casino right just there. Just to watch. The gym we'll go to is uh, connected to the hotel ground, so we don't have to jump a bus ride for 30 minutes, although the bus ride was beautiful on the Maui coast. But, yeah, it was um, – the food, the the entertainment with Jeffrey Osborne putting on a personal concert sure. for us. It was just off the charts, and uh, it's something that we'll never forget. And it made us, you know, just appreciate each other and uh, just having the relationships and the contacts we've made throughout the years. It just makes you really, really makes you just think. Time is a funny thing, yeah, isn't it? How, how special every moment is. And, and uh, it just makes you realize don't take anything and any kind of relationship for granted. Yep. So I feel every time I leave the station. No, I'm right. joking. <laughs> no, but that, that I just wanted to add on to that. Dude, if you go to the Bahamas and do that again, yeah. Michael, let me know. Oh, yeah. I like, mean, seriously. I'll get your room. Thank you. Yeah, just let me know. But I love the Does that Bahamas. mean that you don't have to be a Showtime Laker to be invited to this now? No, well, you know, we got could... a Clinton Yates' big time. I'll get ah, him. Ah, I'll, get, yeah. I'll hook him up. Ah. If he wants to be there, I'll hook him up. So somebody, <laughs> I appreciate that. Somebody uh, at Dan Win Dan Win has created a wedding invitation with Greg Bergman and Mackenzie Scott Love it. together. Love it. It's amazing. <laughs> and it says, save the date. Um, Beautiful. <laughs> so, Mackenzie Scott, she's... Jeff Bezos. Amazon. Amazon. Yeah. And announced today I was she's say, getting a divorce I saw from her that. I saw husband. that. But you, uh, Greg, dollars. you better take a number, buddy. Some of us. <laughs> oh, you're some going of, to, hey, no, Are you the, kidding the me? Thing you is for, I'm going you for the heirs, not them. you. you I wouldn't marry for, for money. Who, who told you that? If you didn't love you, her, you'd marry her? If she had money? Uh, do you know how much money's in that yeah, lady's bank account? Right. You can't cuddle with money. I would marry her for money. Okay, but what about just a rich woman? Depends. Would you marry her even though you weren't attracted to her yeah. or it wasn't a thing? I don't know that, but that's, that's, not, cute. that's, no, not, cute. that's not part of the equation right now. Do you right not now. marry for love? Her spe- <laughs> Again, none of these are mutually exclusive, Mason. It can be. I'm saying, Ireland says marry for money. He doesn't I, right, care about Right, but love. what I'm saying is that in this particular situation, when I heard, when that when that news dropped, mm-hmm. I got about six text messages from homies that were like, you need to find your way back onto the apps. Because really? your girl's back on the scene. Mm-hmm. You think you she's on Tinder? I don't know. Hinge? It's a good question. Probably she's, on, pro- Raya. she's probably on Billionaire Raya. Raya. She is on Raya. She's yeah. on yeah. Billionaire she's Raya. She's in her 50s. So that's not too old for you? No. 50 what? Oh, yeah. M's? B's? What are we nah. talking about? The <laughs> bank accounts? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, no. Yeah. Of course not. Oh, she's but, a nice looking lady, too. And she's a cool person. No, she, and she is. She seems... She's an Has any of you ever been in the same room and... with that human being? No. no. Okay. So, yeah, she's pretty cool. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Although, you know what's weird? We are... John, you and I... I don't know if you guys are. We're one degree from Jeff Bezos. What do you I'm, mean? I'm pretty so. close. Lauren Sanchez. Yeah, we know her. We know her. that's that makes you one degree away, right? Do uh, we only know well, one person how between many, us and how many yeah. Jeff Bezos? Again, have you ever been in the same room with Jeff Bezos? No, have I you? have. Yes, he bought the Washington Post when I worked there. You know I've who else has been, been in multiple rooms? With you know that who else guy? has yeah. been single since her husband died was Lauren Jobs. She's not, she hasn't remarried, right? No, but she actually dated the guy who used to be the mayor of D.C. And I think her name is Lorraine. <laughs> Lorraine? Yeah. yeah. Lorraine she, uh, she talk about one degree away. Yeah. Put <laughs> yeah. her on the list there. Yeah, Bergman. She's, she's single, Bergman. <laughs> Look at that. You're but actually, you, did, you asked a question, though, about would you get involved in a relationship with a woman who's really ultra wealthy, even if you're not attracted to her? Um, like, I'm all for marrying money. I'm like the whole forget love. I'm, I'm into the money part of it. But if I'm really, really not attracted, that's that's going to be a bigger problem. Believe yeah, it. Yeah, but I mean, the money is pretty attractive. Number one, <laughs> number. Two, I mean, I'm half kidding, but number two, like we're not talking about that right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is this is no. I mean, nobody we've discussed so far is unattractive to the point that I wouldn't consider marrying for money. I had a chance um, a while back, and somebody said to me, "Hey, I need to introduce you to this woman. She's a little bit older than you are, but she's insanely wealthy." Mm-hmm. And I kind of went into this introduction thinking, you know what? I don't really care what she looks like. If she's really this crazy wealthy, <laughs> I could be her boy toy. <laughs> and I met her, and she was nice enough looking, frankly, but I just was not even remotely attracted. I was like, gosh, darn it. That's such a shame. Right. Just a little bit of a tr- Was she interested in you? Not Probably not at all. She probably looked at me and was disgusted. <laughs> you know? Yeah. No, I have no desire to marry for money, but, I mean, this is, yeah. you know, listen, if... The, if <laughs> 
if 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 the option's not there, you know what I mean, well, what down the field, I'm going to I'm going to run the ball. What if she's high you know maintenance? Saying? That depends, you know. Mm-hmm. What do you think the money's paying for? <laughs> 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 what are we talking about here? You know what I'm saying? So that's that's hey, part of I, that. Can I bring, bring something up? So I'm looking right now at Scott Kaplan with Jacksonville Jaguar makeup on his face. What is happening? Well, remember they're playing the Chargers this week. Making right. like paw like Kitty oh, cat. Well, he was wow. a ja- he was a Jags was a fan this weekend. So, That's right. So what what prompted this? Because this so, is some weirdness. Well, I mean, is it as weird as you yesterday doing the pony dance, grabbing onto the mic with two hands? A little I mean, more was, weird. A little, little bit, little yeah, bit more this weird. This is really weird. Yeah, and you, is. then you're doing this. You're doing the ar ar ar. So, so um, you there's know, a Tony, fa- there's a face paint situation for right, those who so, are, can't can't see it. Yeah. So my man Tony Baselli, the uh, Hall of Fame. Oh, well, you went all in on this, Cap. <laughs> yeah. This is very nice. Yeah. So Tony Baselli was on my podcast, yep. and um, Tony kind of was giving me a hard time. He's like, "So Kaplan, let me get this straight. So you're not a Charger fan anymore?" And I said, "No, Tony, I'm actually a big Jacksonville Jaguars fan this week." And he said, "So if the Chargers made it to the Super Bowl, you would not jump back on the bandwagon?" And I'm like. Um, a, they'll never make it to the Super Bowl, and B, the answer is 1,000% no. So we had this whole conversation, and ultimately it came down to um, if the Jaguars could go cross-country last week mm-hmm. and beat the Chargers, which frankly at the time I didn't think they'd be able to do because I kind of thought the Chargers were better than they are, and I didn't think the Jaguars are as good as they are. And I, I don't know, somehow a wager got made, and it wasn't like I lost the bet. I actually won the bet. If the Jaguars win then I would face paint Jaguar style, mm-hmm. and that's how this all went down, yeah. Wow. And I face painted um, myself. Like, I was, I I was going to ask. I was going to say, it, it's, not, it's, not, it's not professionally done. I wouldn't, yeah, it's not what we would call Disney quality. No, no, no. There was nobody who did it for me. Nobody made, I wasn't doing it in a mirror. I was doing it, like, completely blind. So how did you, yeah. where did you find these paints, or is this makeup? Oh, dude, don't even get me started. Well, I'd like to get you started. That's first, why I asked. <laughs> first, I went to a place called Party City. Have you guys ever been to a party oh, city? Oh, yeah. 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 I, for the trial of the century, that's where I got party my whole city getup. is a mess yes. if you don't know what you're in there for. Dude, I was. I walked in and was completely overwhelmed. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, there's a bunch of employees standing around having conversations, and I'm just asking for a little bit of help, and God forbid anybody would actually step away from their conversation that had nothing to do with work and help a customer. Oh, um, okay. And then because they didn't have the stuff I was looking for and because nobody would help me, I went next door to Target, you know, and I found some face paint in right. Target. And, um, hey, okay. I got, you know, in a related question, are, what are you going to do? For, are you going to dress up for Halloween this year? Uh, for sure, a thousand percent. Thousand percent. Do we have a station function for Halloween? I just invented one. Is that in? That's in the works. That's in the works. What are we going to call Wait, it? Aren't you supposed to be having a party at your house or something? I am. I mean, I want to have a really super low key party with just people from the station. That's th- okay. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna push back on that. Why? Halloween is the one holiday. Oh, I'm not saying I we I am supposed to do a party, but no, this Halloween This is not Halloween related. Not Halloween. Okay. I was going to say Halloween is the one time you actually want to be out amongst it, as many strangers as possible. It's not low key. I think what we do is uh Cappy, you'll you'll follow along with this. There are places where there are people who are costumes. You get in a, a costume and go all out. I'll do it. We'll go out to a club and we'll party. Got to have a costume contest. This is the way. You oh, got to go somewhere contest. where there's yeah. they're handing out cash prizes right. for costume contests. Are contest. there costume contests? That's a real thing. Really? You've been working in radio this long? You've never yeah. worked a costume contest oh, function? That's yeah. like the most fun thing to do. 500 bucks to somebody who's got a costume, especially if you theme it out. Yeah. Because then you just say, hey, here's the theme. Whoever does the best in the theme wins the money. First, second, third. What would you go ask, Cappy? Um, this is real easy for me. Uh, my costumes are whatever R- 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 Rachel tells me to get into. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. By the way, does, uh, what's R- 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 Rachel's net worth? Are you in it for the money? <laughs> um, half and half. There, that uh, That's an honest answer right yeah, there, ladies and, and gentlemen. Right, because she is definitely very, very successful. By the way, you would not be dating Juan if he had no money. He that, has no money. What are you talking about? Of course he has money. He's got his, he's, has a, he's got a successful career. You've talked a bunch of times about how you guys take great vacations. We do, and, yes. And blah, blah. If he We're had, a team. If he had no net worth, he'd be out, and you know it. I'm not saying he has your no. net worth, Lo- but you would not stay I, with him if the guy worked as a gas station I attendant. I love Juan. I don't care what he does. Wow. It makes no difference to me. I'm wow. in love. After 17 years, still in love. You got my wheels turning about a Hollow- Halloween bash. Yeah, now. we got to work that out. That's, we that's something that we got to Laura, yeah, Laura Romo is, is, is rejoicing in there over Laura, this idea. Halloween? Halloween, is, Halloween is a really fun 
holiday. And you know what? You know what? I'll tell you a quick story. What made me really like Halloween yep. was working in television. It's the biggest television holiday yeah. of the year, and it's so much more fun because you don't necessarily have to be out and about among people. Right. You can wear your costume and people can see you. You know what? Made- and then you can just take it off and be, be yourself. It's great. You know what made me love Halloween? Mm. College. Because oh. every time you have g- girls, it, you, you put whatever costume the girls came dressed as, you put the word sexy in front of it. Sexy ghost. <laughs> sexy Frankenstein, sexy, sexy pirate. pirate. Sexy, yeah, it all, yeah, it all works out. I'm gonna dress up as Alice Lever and walk around and just be a buzzkill. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, we're out of here. Yeah, we're back tomorrow. At one coming up next for you is Shadano and Cappy with Clinton Yates in for Sedano. Super Crosstalk brought to you by Coors Light, keeping Southern California chill all season long. See you tomorrow, 710 ESPN.